Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome back to a little more Stardew Valley Perfection Randomizer. It's been so long, it's been almost 24 hours since I last saw you. How are you doing? How have you been in that time? Lee Chaton, hello, good to see you. Welcome, hope you're doing well. Jay Sky, Ghost with Bo, Miss Palindrome, Kitty Burger, Pata, Dragonic Moon, Marshmallow Opossum. First live stream here for Marshmallow Opossum. Welcome on in. You are very welcome here. I'm glad to have you glad to have you live for one. Have you watched any VODs or is this the first interfacing first time interfacing with it at all? Been a while since you got a stream. Punk Shep, good to see you again. Quasar. Lots of good, lots of friends, new and old. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome lurkers, welcome chatters, welcome wh whoever wants to be welcomed, which I hope is everybody. But, you know, if you don't want to be welcomed, then I apologize. <laughs> All right. Very excited to get into today, today's stream. We did a lot of setup yesterday for our gold clock grind. For those who don't know, exclamation point goal. Um, let me get that set up. Get the pinned message going here. If Nightbot is awake. Me texting Nightbot, you awake. Nightbot responds, current randomizer goal. Build a gold clock, 18 out of 564. How dare I be courteous. Our current goal is to build a gold clock. It's um, <laughs> it's it's one we've been working on for a while, given the nature of the randomizer, but we've set up a pretty good farm at this point, and most of what we need to do now is just sleep. We need to sleep, do the chores in between, like we need to visit the greenhouse every three days. We need to make sure the animals are well fed, which honestly got me thinking. To feed the animals, wouldn't it be smart to, like, go out every day, check the mushroom cave, because that takes a little time to go over that way, and then head back, ju just to give the animals enough time to, like, pop out and hopefully eat some grass, rather than going through the hay supply? I don't know. Exclamation point, current run. <laughs> a little bit outdated, that one, but that's okay. I don't know, I was thinking about that, and it might be important but greenhouse on the way to the mushroom cave is kind of clutch and I could put the silo by my house I could put a silo by my house that's true just for just to be able to check it quickly that might be a smart play just one silo is next to the house is all we need obviously I don't need to check all four of them yo purple I hope uh, I hope I can help improve your mood in some small way Get some get some love and chat for, for Purple having a sad mood day. We've all been there, so. Best wishes to you. At any rate, I am going to go ahead and get into the game here. Load it up. Because there's no time like the present. And the present is a gift from time. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the present is a gift. The present is a gift. Maybe that's all you need to say. Alright. Let me bring you on in in a second here. A thousand slimes would sound, sounds like a relief right about now. That would be a, would be a nice little change of pace as far as goals go. All right. I've got an empty watering can. Did I last yesterday I passed out when like in bed though, right? Like I passed out when trying to water. Hold on, I got to turn up the the volume on my end. I can barely hear the in-game. Let me know if let me know how the music is by the way. We're still we're still messing with the the audio balance settings to try and get it figured out. Okay. Um I need on my person I don't, I don't need this clay. This clay can get out of here. I guess I could have just put it in a chest with my other clay, but it's, that was, I just felt aggressive towards the clay at that particular moment. I apologize. All right, I'm going to put these staircases in here alongside the jade. That way we have a decent idea of how many we got. 
Music sounds good. Right on. Your fourth goal involves getting to level nine combat, so that's been a thing without any, without completing any slaying goals. Yeah, that would, I mean, you, I guess you'd just be locked to monsters that don't have monster slayer goals. Best of luck to you. All right, pickled pumpkin can go in there for right now. I'm gonna also carry. I carry my pumpkins, carry my common mushrooms, and I think I should go. I need to go out and do a little bit more debris clearing today as well. I think because I was so busy with like planting and selling and stuff yesterday that I didn't get a chance to really do much of this. So we should probably make sure I stay on top of that. Because debris is our ultimate nemesis until we can get the gold clock. There's there's not much we can do about the rocks. We're we're starting to run low on mining experience that we can frivolously throw about. Thankfully the other ones don't require could you imagine if sticks gave you foraging experience for chopping them down? I would cry so so many tears. <laughs> it would make things just so so much more difficult. I would not be mentally prepared for that. Got our nice field over here. Eventually, this will be a full um, ancient fruit field. I think that's the ultimate plan. That's, that's the best way to go about it, I think. But uh, until then, we're just going to have to make do. We, sh we should be able to make that happen until... or by next year. Because we'll, we'll be growing plenty of ancient fruit. We just seed maker enough of it. We need 138 seeds to fill up the, all the plots. Then we're schmoovin'. We're schmoovin' all the way to the bank. As they say. Concerned Ape was able to predict challenges in the future when he coded this. Absolutely. Some some things like some things make you wonder if he did. Part of me thinks about that, because like I've always had that game designer bug in me a little bit. Like I would I would I would be I would like to make a game at some point in the future. Maybe not a very big game, but a game of some some repute. I think that would be fun. And part of me is like, you know, if I were designing a game, would I think at all about, like, challenge runners, speed runners, or anything like that? I think I probably would, because I'm obviously very entrenched in that uh, part of the culture, part of internet culture. But do many game developers think about that stuff? I honestly have no idea. I would, I would hazard a guess most do not, and just focus on making the game that they want to make, which is absolutely the way you should do it. But there's got to be some people out there that, you know... I mean, speedrunners make games, too. You'd love to make a game yourself? It's it's just so much work. <laughs> even even if you're all, all you're doing is, like... Even if you're only doing, like, one aspect of it yourself. Because, like, most games are made with a team, obviously. So you're not making the entire thing yourself. Which makes Stardew all the more impressive. Because Concerned Ape is the only one who made all this. But uh, it's not something that everyone could or should aspire to, necessarily. That's a... Uh, that's an abnormality for sure. But even if you're only doing a portion of the work, it's a monumental effort to even make a like a small but relatively polished game. All right, I think debris is pretty well clear now. Ooh, a little triple shot espresso. Don't mind if I do. If you were to make a game, it would include a speedrun mode that takes away cutscenes and tutorials. Has any game done that before? There, there's probably are some out there, but I've never seen anything like that. The most you see for like a speedrun mode or anything is the game adds like a timer in game, so you don't have to worry about one externally. But beyond that, I haven't really seen too much accommodation for for speedrunners a lot of the time. You'd love to do art for a game. If I were to make a game, that's like the one part I would sh like, because I I would. Do as I say, not as I do, but part of me would be like, I just want to make the game, like, all by myself. Art and music and everything included. And that's where I would definitely struggle. I would have to, I would have to learn a lot about those processes and, and what makes good art and good music and all that stuff. Before I got, uh, anywhere close to being able to make a, a game that I'm proud of. Okay. Um, I'm gonna carry the fall seeds on me. Are we good to sleep? So what what time what are we sleeping until? I mean tomorrow we go out. I guess we're I guess we're going out basically every day. And you know what? Today is a good day. Uh, we might as well we were talking about it before. Let's go move the silo to uh like somewhere in this vicinity so I can check the hay reserves without having to run all the way down there. It's not that far of a run, but it's I mean 
We're going to be sleeping. We should optimize this as much as we possibly can here. What can I say? Speedrunning week really gave me that optimization bug. Not really, but... <laughs> you want to make music for games? It's partially what you're going to school for. That's exciting. Haven't seen the last of Audia. Is there a reason the preserve jar is empty? Clover Quartz? It's because I'm dumb and I forgot to put another pumpkin inside of it. Thank you for the reminder. It's supposed to be processing pickled pumpkins, but I perchance perplexed myself and purportedly panicked in the presence of preserve jar pumpernickel. That makes sense to somebody somewhere. Cut the mic. Cut the mic. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move a silo, shall we? Robin's not uh, in today. She's at her aerobics class or whatever, being healthy. That's kind of cringe, but she can do whatever she wants to do. And we're going to go ahead and move the silo courtesy of the wizard here. Is there a good spot? If I'm going Mushroom Cave... If I'm going to start doing, like, Mushroom Cave daily, we could put the silo, like, right there. And then it's kind of on the way. Or we or we move the well and put the silo there. No, it's probably... I feel like this is a good spot for it. Playtesting could be fun. My mom had a job as a playtester for, like, a couple months, I think, back when I was really young. Which was weird to me, because, like, she doesn't play video games, really. But I think this is a good spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it. Gonna commit to the cause. All right, we got these fruit trees over here to worry about as well. We sh which we should definitely worry about. I know cherries and apricots not really the most profitable of fruits, but those are iridium quality cherries and apricots by now. So we should definitely, you know, take notice a little bit. Maybe is it at least closer, or is it? I mean, I don't. It might be the same distance, roughly, but it's on the way to the mushroom cave which is ultimately what makes the difference to me, because if I'm going to be going to the Mushroom Cave anyway, why not? I know in the previous VOD I said the Mushroom Cave is probably not worth it, and monetarily I don't think it is, but as far as, like, going out and spending enough time outside to make sure the animals get a chance to eat grass and stuff, I don't think it'll be long enough most of the time that... Like, I don't think the trip to the Mushroom Cave and back will be long enough that most of the animals will be able to eat all the grass they need. So we're still going to go through some hay, undoubtedly. But we're pinching pennies. We're pinching pennies at this point. Mango Tree there, by the way. Never forget Mango Tree Island. We need every penny we can get, except for Penny, because we're not allowed to befriend her yet. But the spirit is there. So what is our hay situation even looking like right now? 144 out of 960 hay. So we're probably going to need to stock up on that relatively soon. But for right now, it's fine. Hopefully for now, the grass will be able to subsist a little bit longer. The invisible fence is back. I know it throws me off every single time. It doesn't look like there's a fence there. It doesn't make any sense, but there is a fence. It's just made out of bonsai trees instead of fences. So... <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just play, play pretend. I like how it blends in, but I also don't like how it blends in, because it makes me confused. Alright. I think we're good to go. Let's go to bed. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm, but also Hootie? So it all balances out. We gotta go find Hootie the 7th or 8th at this point, I think. I want to say this is Hootie the seventh. Can we get some owl emojis in chat? In chat, by the way, and also thank you for the pumpkin reminder. Thank you for the pumpkin reminder. All right, we got to go find Hootie. We also got to visit the greenhouse here. Almost all of our banana trees. Wait. Oh no, yes, that makes sense. We because we checked this on day one as well. I forgot the, the start of a season. It was a little bit quirky when it comes to fruit trees. Look at, the, look at this promenade of pomegranates. So good. So good. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any, but I'm pretty sure if I do zigzags like that, I just don't miss. Trees get a little quirky at night. Did we go through any hay at all yesterday? 144. No. All the animals, every single one got a chance to eat. 
You love to see it. Okay. Now, I think in a situation like this, this is a good opportunity to pull up our screenshots that we take every day and use that for booty searching purposes. Oh my god, there's so many pictures in this folder. I guess, you know, one every day, it adds up. It adds up. I missed a peach. I'll go back and have a look at Prisuke. Thank you. I'll go have a look for a peach. But for now, we gotta play a little I Spy with Hootie. Let's see if we can find the seventh mysterious Hootie. Okay. Bring you in here. Let's have a look. Do you, let me know when you spot Hootie. We're looking for a wayward stone. Oh, there he is right there. He, he wants to join the party up here. These these guys are having a great time. There's a couple down here protecting the mahogany woods. This guy couldn't decide which way to go, so he split the difference in the middle. I respect it. Well, let's go let's go bring him home, and give him, we'll find we'll find a good home for him. I think we'll find a good home for him. Oh, my, wait, my inventory is full, though. <laughs> That's a little awkward. That's okay. It's not like every day we're going to have to go fetch a hoodie. So this is just a, a once-in-a-lifetime scenario. I've been told I missed a peach in here. Peaches, 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 peaches. I did miss a peach. Hey, Prisky, how did you know that? How did you know that? Were you tracking every pixel on the screen? That's highly impressive, and I'm glad I have eagle-eyed viewers in chat to do exactly that. All right, pop them all in here. Let's start our stacks anew. Let's go grab a stone owl. I had 19 in inventory. What are these Jedi mind tricks? How can how can I learn such <laughs> how can I learn such strategies? Math in my Stardew Valley? I don't think so. Hey there, Arabella. Welcome on in. All right, where will you fit in here? I think, on, like, honestly, this mahogany forest is probably not long for this world. I kind of want to, should we get rid of the mahogany forest at this point? I feel like we don't need this anymore. Like, any more hardwood that we're going to need, we'll probably get when clearing this mahogany forest. And it's honestly just going to become too overgrown. So I think it's probably time to say goodbye. Teach me how to say goodbye, though. Which means I'm gonna need to move. I'm gonna need to move Hootie and Hootie. Hootie the second and Hootie the fifth. It does look cool, don't get me wrong, but with how much we're gonna be sleeping, it's gonna be encroaching further and further on our farm, and it's just gonna become a lot to manage. Alright, the Hootie party grows ever stronger. The Hootie posse, even. They're making a Yoba symbol. Coincidence? I think so, because I just made it myself, but. All right. Um, we'll do some. We'll do pre-chopping tomorrow because I don't trust it right now. I don't trust that none of these trees are already at least partially pre-chopped, so there might be some resetting involved in that. But I think we're gonna go ahead and start taking care of that. There was another hoodie down there. We can check tomorrow because we're gonna be going down that way regardless. I always thought it was only two, but could be wrong. I might have missed one. Also, wood. I'm getting a decent amount of wood. I should honestly just move the wood to this chest for right now. So I don't have to worry about going out of my way. Optimize, optimize, optimize. Alright. So cautious, I love it. You gotta be cautious in this kind of a challenge. Every click could be a potential misstep. Alright, bombs I don't need to worry about just yet because we haven't pre-chopped or anything. Um, let's go, let's deposit these. Also don't need the watering can or the hoe right now, so we can clear those out. Let's go start pre-chopping and just hope for the best. But I don't expect anyone to know, you know, um, actually the fourth tree in the third column from the left 
of your mahogany forest has been pre-chopped twice. You did it when you were going through and uh, clearing out the forest the third time. And no, I don't, I, like, that sounds like something I would keep track of, but it doesn't sound, I don't expect anyone in chat to know that off the cuff. All right. Let's do some pre-chopping, shall we? We're just gonna, we're gonna go row by row here, row by row, so we don't miss any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go through and clear all the seeds and saplings after, once I know the pre-chopping has been successful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's on the same lateral column, lateral row even. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, next one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a big old stump right there. That's fine, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Welcome on in, Maggie. You're here just in time for everyone's favorite segment, Counting with Argon. I didn't get that tree over there. I don't. I'll get, let, let me get this one for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I? I don't think I got this tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I I become more and more like the count from Sesame Street with every passing day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't think I chopped this one either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is anyone else scared we're gonna get like jump scared by a tree falling over? Because I because I either pre-chopped it earlier or forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. M e the mushroom trees are not immune. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's a that's a five tapper. That's a five tapper. Northeast of the mushroom tree. Good to know. We'll, we'll remember that for next time. Let's see if there's any other pre-chopping culprits out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a that's a seven chopper. Five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it goes five, seven, and then just normal nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just use bombs all the way. That gets so expensive, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is about the principle of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm not talking about your elementary school principal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Every tree is pre choppable as expected, except for these two. There's two right there that we cannot pre chop. So let's go ahead and reset and do that all again. I know how much you guys love counting, so I put some counting in your counting. Need to save money for the clock. Exactly. Exactly correct. Okay. Put that away. Everything else is good. So let's start with those two trees, just in case I mess up again. And then we will just pre-chop everything else as per usual. And we count negatives? I don't think I have the brain power to do that for that many trees. You're welcome to just throw, anytime I say a, a number, just pretend like I said negative or try and like time it so that you say negative when I say the number. I'm okay with that. That sounds like a fun time, but <laughs> as for myself, I'm just going to count normally this time if you don't mind. All right. Is this tree was our five. One, two, three, four, five. Then this one was our seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
everything else we should just pre-chop so let's just let's just go like normal again and let's also start taking out these seeds and the ensuing saplings because we don't need any more of those okay one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine Go ahead and chop this bad boy. Get all the little seedlings out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna take care of this cluster right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna hit this one as well because I can see myself thinking, did I hit this or not? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this the stream content you all tune in for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We love our numbers around here, it's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Didn't pre chop this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Top up with a salad or two. Might as well do two because we know we're going to need the energy. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I'm glad I can provide then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know some people are just here for the inevitable time where I miscount by a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine and just and absolutely ruin all my hard work one two three four five six seven eight nine but i have to believe that the majority of people are rooting for me not to have to do this again <laughs> all right those have been those two have been pretty chopped this one is not one two three four five six seven eight nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am a little bit entranced by the color of the trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's such a satisfying, like, red brown coloration. I love it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why is this the most tense thing I've ever done in this game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two more, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> what? No! Oh no! <laughs> Did I not check that one last time? Part of my brain was actually saying, I don't think I checked this tree last time. This doesn't feel familiar. Oh, what are the odds that it's going to be another one that's like a little bit pre-chopped? Turns out 100%. Turns out 100%. That was not the seventh one. That was a that was a secret second seventh one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's all right. We just we just have to do it again. Just one hour of counting. That's how we up. That's why we should start at every stream, honestly. So let's just, you know, get it out of the way now. All right, it's fine. Third time is often the charm. Hi, bring me luck, please. Had to feed the kittens. What happened? Don't worry about it, Miss Palindrome. I just was having such a good time chopping down the trees that I decided, even though I did it successfully, I wanted to reset just because it's so satisfying and not at all tense. Okay. All right, so now we know there are three pre-chopped trees, including this sneaky one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We stop. And then we go to this guy here. This is the five. One, two, three, four, five. Then this is the other seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then everything else, unless I'm crazy, unless I'm taking crazy pills, everything else is we got under control here. We got under control. So let's take care of the saplings, take care of the seeds. I'm having some serious deja vu at this point, but I have faith that this is the time. This, this is the one. I can't possibly mess it up a third time, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nightbot's a liar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nightbot's not a liar when it comes to the optimism, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the amnesia tree. The one that if I developed amnesia, it's the first tree I'd be liable to forget for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You prefer to say Nightbot's not telling the truth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of us always lies. One of us always tells the truth. All right. I'm starting my. I'm starting to get trees and only trees in my in my vi line of vision. I'm starting to get a little cross-eyed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like clicked, but it didn't chop, so it threw me off for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nightbot tries really hard. If any if Nightbot makes any misstatements, that's on me, not on Nightbot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I pre-chop this tree? I'm scared. I'm scared of that tree. I feel like I might have pre-chopped it and I'm scared. One, cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's why that's why we reset three times is for that exact secret note. You guys, I was just playing the long con. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're closing in on the end here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, yeah, we can't craft tappers yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nor can I get heavy tappers from the walnut room because I'm not allowed in there until Mr. Key lets me in. Mr. Chi, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should be the last tree unless that, that one behind the bush is throwing me, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is the only one right here. I don't know if I pre-chopped this tree or not. I think we just, like, if, if push comes to shove, I just bomb the heck out of that one. Wait. No, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I accidentally hit it once. That's not true. That's not true. I didn't accidentally hit it once. You're, you're, <laughs> no, Benny. No, just hit it eight times. Leave it, leave it. I have to have confidence in myself. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. The confidence came through on that one. That was the tensest chop of my life at the end there, though. That was that was the ninth chop heard around the world. Oh, my gosh. All that for Star Drop Saloon Special Orders. Thank you, Gus. She wants triple the sauce. Better throw in a few extra napkins. Dot, dot, dot. Please never do that again. <laughs> it's okay. All right. That's all taken care of. Now we sleep, and then we bomb. We sleep and bomb. And then we have to pre-chop the stumps. So there's a whole other round of that. 
I guess what? Well, yeah, I should pre-chop the stumps, but okay. Let me grab my bombs. Thirty-two bombs is hopefully going to be enough. Third house upgrade. We might have enough hardwood from this to do that, and if we don't, then we can get mahogany seeds again from gold coconuts instead. I'm not concerned. If I get secret note number 10, don't read it. How will I know that it's number 10? There's there's a way to know that, but I can't remember the way to know that. It'll say? Okay. I trust. I trust. I trust. All right. Let's go to sleep for the night. Call it there. We got it. Oop, pop that in there. What is secret note number 10? I don't remember off the top of my head right now, but I remember there's a reason to be afraid. Skull Cavern Chi Quest. Okay, let's do... Let's just, let's just go take care of business down here. I don't think I got the Mushroom Cave last time, but that's not really a concern. It'll unlock Iridium Snake Milk. That's why. Iridium Snake Milk is its own quest, is it, or it's its own task in the randomizer, so we don't want to get that quest to get that ahead of time, because otherwise I won't be able to go past Floor 100 and Skull Caverns until I get that quest, basically. That's how that works. All right. Are you guys ready for the most satisfying thing you've ever seen in your life? Are you ready? Get ready for this. I, I got to make sure I have a clear, a clear getaway, though, because I, I want to run over here so they all fall that way and not into the water. Please, let's do it. This is what we've been working for all, all day so far. Oh, baby! <laughs> look at the hardwood! Ooh, look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> 126 hardwood. Yeah, I think we're going to be good on the house upgrade front. Oh, that was so, so satisfying. Alright, let's pre-chop the stumps just, so, just to make sure we don't get thrown off by numbers with the explosions or anything. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just the sound was so good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. One, two, three, four. That one actually shows damage. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I wouldn't even mind messing this up because we get to see that satisfying explosion again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Want to see me do it again? It's not going to be quite as good, but it'll still be good. Let's put one, like, right there. Boom. Boom. Oh, my gosh. I'm so here for it. I got to be careful of the stones, but it's okay. <laughs> if I hit one wayward stone, I'm not even going to be that mad. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Let me go ahead and pop this right here. I think that's safe. Boom. A little extra sap for the road. Now let's pop that right there. Oh, I didn't even hit that. I thought I would hit that tree for sure. All right, this stone is a little sus. But we should be fine if we put it far enough away. Like, this is one, two, three, four, five. Put me, like... Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. So if I put it here, does it go out that far? Or I'll use an extra bomb if I have to, but let's just try that. Okay, that worked. Oh, no, the water! <laughs> oh, just saved. Saved, just barely. All right. There is a train passing through Stardew Valley. One, two, three, four. The magnetism was so strong. Two, three, four. Okay. Was it here? Was let's just do the counting again. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Perfect. 
Perfecto Mundo, and then just one last guy right here, the la the lone standing survivor, but there can be no survivors. I'm sorry. And finally, one, two, three, four. Get it, get it done. Get it done. All right. Mahogany Forest is officially cleared. 07, you had a good run. I appreciate all the hardwood you gave me, and I mean, we couldn't have made it this far without you, quite literally. You will forever have a place in my heart. You'll be in my heart. And on our screenshots, too. What happened to my music, by the way? My music? Alright, music. Music has been revived. A little music defibr defibr defibrillation. Alright. Get rid of that. Let's... We also got uh, oh, the mushroom tree. We got red mushrooms from the mushroom tree. That's pretty nice. Music stopped for optimal satisfaction. I can co-sign that. All right, put everything away. Everything means everything. Or at least put the bombs away, because I don't want to blow up the inside of my house. So that's just me, but this doesn't seem like an optimal use of my time. 276 hardwood. I have to imagine that'll be good for, like, basically the rest of the run, but... Cross that bridge if we come, if we come to it in the future. Let's go clean out the mushroom cave. I'm going to get rid of this one fiber right here because I feel like it's going to throw off my pathing every single time. How did I get the chest without crafting? It's a little bit of night market magic. Basically, if you place certain items in the submarine or mermaid boat at the night market, items that you have to break with a pickaxe in order to pick back up again, so furnaces and, and the like... Um, once the night market is over, those items will be put into chests on the shore for you to pick up at a later date. And then you can take the chests themselves as well, because they just kind of spawned out of thin air, and you might as well use them. Took us 40 minutes to get rid of some trees. <laughs> it was a bit... They were very important trees, though. They were sentimental trees. All right. We're off to bed for the night. Let's sleep it off. We're committing. I have also decided, I think, that it's a good, it's in our best interest to um, only sell. I think we should only do one selling day per year. I think we should make a like a big thing of it. It's like you know how there's a new holiday coming up in version 1.6. For us, that holiday it's gonna be it's gonna be selling day. I think in order to because we're already gonna be out here doing these chores for a significant amount of time. I feel like we should, you know, minimize the amount of days that we have to commit to actually going to sell, because it's not going to make a difference at the end of the day. Anyway, we're still going to make the same amount of money. And we can make, like, a big event of it. Or, you know, barring if we don't make it through, like, a full stream in a year, or a full year in a stream, then we just, like, sell at the end of the stream and just see how much we've made in that one stream. But hopefully we can make it through one year per stream kind of thing. I don't really need the salads on me anymore right now. I can go ahead and axe those. How's our silo doing? I just want to... I'm not going to check it every time, but I just want a good barometer. We still haven't lost any hay out of it. That's a great sign. I'm going to go see if you can find the pencil. Best of luck. I have pens and pencils, like, just scattered... Like, scatter plot around my house, because... <laughs> I like to have one at, like, my earliest convenience, if I need one. You prefer end of the stream? End of the stream might be the better way to do it, but it would take a while. It takes a while to sell sometimes, too, so... Really hope the new festival has something to do with if you complete the community center. That's an idea that I've seen floating around a lot in the community, is like a, like a commemorative celebration to... For like when you complete the community center or Joja Mart or something, maybe only the community center, so that it's a it's more of an incentive to go that way. Um, I would be here for that. Absolutely, that'd be that'd be very cool to be able to sort of like make your own festival or at least make like the date of your own festival. 
I think that would be a really neat idea. Of course, my mind immediately wanders to the, like, the fact, like, what if you complete the community center on the same day as another festival? What happens then? And then, uh, then I don't know. Maybe it's just the day that you, like, get the community center completion cutscene, because I don't think you can get that on the same day as a festival, so maybe that's the best way to do it. Either way, I'm, I'm very curious to see what the actual festival is going to be. I'm going to put away these salads. And these jades. We're actually close. Actually, you know, we could... I could trade I could trade my jades in at, on Sunday. And we could do a little skull caverning if we wanted to. See if we can get some good luck in the treasure rooms. It has, it has been a hot minute since then. Great minds think alike, Jay Sky. <laughs> you asked that question, and I, I I say that completely. I didn't even see your statement before then, but yeah, we should we should try and do some skull caverning. I think mix things up a little bit. It's been a while. We've been so so laser focused on the lazy money making methods of of yesteryear that I need to I need to know how to what it feels like to live. So I think on next Sunday, we will go trade our jades for staircases, and then we will start looking for lucky days, I think. You wonder when we'll get rid of the mushrooms? What do you mean, get rid of the mushrooms, though? What do you mean when you say, get rid of the mushrooms? That implies that you don't like the mushrooms. You know, I should, I should deposit these. <laughs> Oh, turn them all into seeds. Okay. I honestly don't know, because if we're visiting the mushroom cave, then, like, we might be getting a more common... We're probably... We probably are actually going to have, like, a net positive of common mushrooms. All of our fruit trees are officially online, by the way. You love to see that. We're probably going to have a net positive of common mushrooms unless we get a second seed maker, which is another incentive to go to Skull Cavern, actually. Uh, think about it. First pomegranate of the void. 30 of each fruit will be so good. It'll be very satisfying once we get there. Right now, we're t today won't be that day, but our next fruit tree day should be. Today we are at 20, 22 bananas. Is that right? I feel like I'm missing bananas. I guess, no, if it's, if it's what, 4 times 2 is 8? Yeah, so that's that checks out. That checks out. Good afternoon, Justin. Welcome on in. Happy to see you. Ooh, Andy came just in time. Let me crank that. Oh, baby. Nothing like it. Justin has arrived. The bees have come to party. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. It's a really cozy, fun time. We have such good, relaxing chill vibes around here chill vibes all the way all the way except when the bees come out to play <laughs> oh baby indeed the bee song is the best one in the game but it's not even in the game just not yet because the game itself isn't even a game well, it's a game, but it's still being developed by everyone's favorite concern, A. He is gonna make it such a fun time for us all. I can't wait to scream and shout and say hello to all. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> the lyrics don't always hit, but when they do, I mean, you gotta you gotta take your shot because when the lyrics do hit, they're, it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, I'm getting rid of these, these fiber too. Not bad, not bad. For live improv, that was really good. Oh, it's a little little loud, little loud. Excuse me, only bboss.ogg gets to be that loud. Sorry to uh, the town of Luncheon. Hopefully that's not too quiet, but let me know if it is. That said, some some of the songs are quieter than others, so <laughs> it's to be expected. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. 
So true. Have a good one there, Apreske. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Have a good sleep. Town of Luncheon as in Luncheon Kingdom. Now this is Town of Luncheon from Chik Chikori? Chikori? It's another game that was had music composed for it by the composer of Celeste. So this is uh, Lena, Lena Rain, I believe is her name. Their name? They, they might be... They might go by they. I don't remember off the top of my head. My apologies. I don't know their pronouns. Off the top of my dome... You've literally been meaning to play that? I hadn't heard of it before I was looking into music for the, uh, the stream playlist. If I have Lena Rain, I need to have Pig Step in my playlist? What the heck is Pig Step? Isn't that a Minecraft song? Hold on a second, I gotta... My fan... My fan is going, but it's oscillating right now, and it's not doing the thing for me. I need to just focus on me for a second. It is for Minecraft. I didn't I didn't know that she did music for Minecraft. Alright. We good to sleep for the night? I think we are. It's the best Minecraft CD. I don't know, I'm quite partial to what's the what's the spooky one? 13? The one that's just like set like, sound effects of, like, a dude running through a hallway or something. It's just, like, spooky footsteps. That one's always tickled my fancy. Other side is so good. Listen to Pig Step. I shall listen to Pig Step. I feel like I'd probably know the song if I heard it. I'm not too unfamiliar with Minecraft music. Not to the point that I, I should be able to recognize most songs out of it, I think. There's multiple parts to 13. That's true, there's like 13, and is it 13-2 or is it 14? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what the naming conventions of it would be. New fruit tree day. Oh, I forgot to be, I'm supposed to be checking these fruit trees too! It's okay, it's okay. Better late than never. Better late than never, as they say. 11. 13 is only part of a story. The rest is on another disc, and it's super creepy. Ooh, I love super creepy. Super creepy, super freaky. I'm here for all of that. 13 and 11. Those are spooky numbers. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how satisfying it would be to look upon a fully complete greenhouse of fruit trees. We were almost, we were like 95% of the way there, but to see it 100% of the way there, a beautiful sight. Oh, banana. You missing any fruits? We're not missing any fruits. Now I know this, the hack to figure that out. Just check if you have 30 of every fruit and you're good to go. There's game theories on the meaning behind 13 and 11. That does not surprise me. MatPat does, like like you're saying, MatPat does theories on anything where there's even a, like a, a sniff, a little whiff of lore. And you're going to find MatPat right there. He hasn't done any Stardew Valley theories, though, that, that I know of, so he doesn't know what he's missing out on, quite frankly. Greenhouse looks really get great. Thank you. We worked very hard to get it there, so I'm glad that it's uh, it's paying off finally. All right. Tomorrow's a big day. Saturday here is a big day because we're actually going to do something today, believe it or not. We have things to do today. We have to go to the Egg Festival to get our strawberry seeds, and our Junimos get to harvest their first little batch of cauliflower. Well, their only batch of cauliflower, really. <laughs> I think we need what? We need, um... We're gonna need 70 strawberry seeds. 
I also need to start paying attention. When's when's our first ancient fruit harvest going to be? Does anybody know that off the top of their head? I knew that it wouldn't be ready yet, obviously. Look at them go. Look at them go. We got the lucky star shard junimos, the prismatic junimos, just working in such good cooperation. 28 days. We planted it we planted our ancient fruit on the first of spring. So in theory, they should be ready by the first of summer, right? Buy strawberries for next year too. Next year we're probably gonna go just full ancient fruit. It should it should just be all ancient fruit. If we're focused on money, which we really need to be focusing on money, then uh that's that's the way forward for us. I was like, where are all the rest of the cauliflowers, dude? Let the Junimos harvest, then look in the, the hut for the count. I've got 75 cauliflowers. But I, I swear I only purchased 70 seeds. So maybe we just had extra cauliflowers in there from times previous. Times previous to this. Did I set aside cauliflowers for, like, recipes and stuff? Recipes and shipping? Maybe that's what some of that was was, was for. Let's just set aside, like, some cauliflowers. Set, like, five cauliflowers aside. I think I well, you need, like, cheese cauliflower, and you need one for shipping. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna set them aside just to be on the safe side here. Perfect. All right. And it's actually just about time for the Egg Festival already, so we can go ahead and hit that up. Ancient fruit is nice because we can just ignore it. My thoughts, exactly. I don't want to have to worry about going to replant crops in the, in the midst of all this. It's not going to be the most money we can make, technically, but it's, uh, it's going to be good enough for me. Is the music a little quiet for you guys, or is it just on my end? I, I, I think it's, like, balanced so that it's the same volume for both of us, but... It might be a little quieter for me than it is for you. I don't know, because it sounds very quiet to me right now. It's quiet. Not too bad. It is kind of quiet. All right, we can we can bump it up until we hit, hit another loud song. That sounds like a pretty good volume to me. It's not that quiet. Pig step. Are we good there? The Stardew Valley songs, a lot of them tend to be the, towards the quieter side, so... Alright, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Strawberry seeds? I will buy... I'll buy 75 just to be on the safe side. I'm pretty sure I only need 70, but... It doesn't, doesn't hurt to have a couple extra. Or a few extra, or several extra, however you quantify five. If you're not gonna feed me eggs, I'm gonna need some hot sauce, kid. Wait, if you're going to feed me eggs, I'm going to need some hot sauce, kid. Pam, I'm not feeding you eggs. This is not that kind of a relationship. I don't know who... I'm sorry if I led you in that direction. I'm not going to feed you your eggs. You you, you should eat the eggs yourself. How are you doing, Sam? Oh, my does. You met your roommates for the first time, and one of them is very mean. Peridot Whale, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you can... Uh, talk to them and try and reconcile differences because I don't feel like most people are born mean. I feel like there's there's some underlying thing there. It might not be something you can reconcile, but I wish you the best of luck. I wish I could give more advice, but I'd need more information. Send them love. Send them lots of love, though. Send them lots of love. Alright. Egg festival? I think everyone's ready. Yes, Mayor Lewis. Give me this thousand dollars. Give me this thousand dollars, please. Watch me hit this world record really quick. World record 18 eggs. 18 eggs incoming. Let's do it. I have competence. 
Let the egg hunt begin. All right, you, gotta, you just got to skirt up here. No time loss so far. We're frame perfect. All right, a little bit of time loss on that first day. We we skirted up against the the rounded corner. I, oh, I missed an I missed an egg entirely. That's actually a, incredibly embarrassing. Oops. All right, we got to backtrack a little bit, but that's okay. It's not that bad of time loss. World record still in reach. World record. It's not a frame perfect world record. I promise you. I promise. Please. <laughs> I'm focusing. I'm focusing so hard. Abigail's gonna regret the day she stepped to Beatrix. Mayor Lewis, your stupid pickup truck. I hate it. Why is it why is it so annoying? 14 eggs. That's just an embarrassment. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done uh since I've done the egg hunt. 15 I I is usually Acceptable. 16 would be a great day. I don't think I've ever done 17. Beatrix. I'll, I mean, I'll take my pity prize. I know everyone else is still bad, so I still win, but... Not bad. Would have been the world record back in 2009. Back in 2009, I don't think I had the... The, the strategies that I would have now. I'm st I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, as it were. I did not come up with those strategies myself. Maybe I could have, though. Maybe I could have been the world record holder back then. Who knows? All right, we got to get these strawberries in the ground. As the Junimos turn on their little lights... It's so cozy. I love the little Junimo lights. There's something about that specific shade of, like, golden yellow that is just very cozy. Alright, we are five seeds over, which is to be expected. That's fine. I'll just save them for probably never, but <laughs> at least I have some some seeds now to remember the good times to remember the best times when I was planting strawberries on my very first spring. This is not our seed chest? This is our seed chest? Or as close as we get to a seed chest, I guess? Eat common mushroom? No thank you. Sounds delicious, but I don't think I will. And sleep. Done. Easy. Easy mode. Alright. No! My mixed seeds. How dare you. Today is Sunday. Y'all know what that means. 95 jades about to turn into the biggest collection of staircases you've ever seen. Well, not really. I mean, Frugal Farm was a thing. I don't even know how many staircases we ended up having on that farm, but it was a little it was a few more than 95, I wanna say. Rude seeds. Hello, Wickety. Hello. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great, fantabulous day. 7,569 staircases. Karita, do you just know that? Or are you making up a number that sounds impressive? I think, I feel like we had more than that too, but I might be wrong. All right, where's my desert obelisk again? Oh, yeah. Bada boom. Editing, watching Argon, so it's a good day. I'm happy to help out. Happy to help out in whatever way I can by being your background noise. Like, you, you were for me the other day. It's very soothing. Speaking of editing, I actually... I have, I have something I might be reaching out to you about in the near future, Wickety, so just keep an eye on your DMs. I can't promise exactly when. I think maybe later this week, but... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up about something, I think, so. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for 
this chest. The one that I only always access. <laughs> the bassoon. Bassoon is a great word. A great word for a beautiful instrument. That said, I don't know if I could tell you what the instrument itself actually sounds like. I just know what it looks like. It's kind of like a like a saxophone, I want to say. Bassoon is saxophone adjacent, maybe. Unless I'm getting it confused with something else. Bassoon how soon? Now soon. Now, now, brown cow. All right, we're going to wait for a star drop luck day before we go into Skull Cavern next. But we are officially on Skull Cavern watch. Bass soon, exactly. What is this sneaky little sneaky little tree doing here? Get out of here. Do I have space in my inventory for all the fruit and the mushrooms? We have so many different like forms of, of produce right now that the backpack space space is actually becoming an issue. <laughs> I never thought I'd make it to this point, but here we are. Okay, event one day we'll be allowed to get a backpack upgrade. This is this is the moment in the final like edited video where you smash cut to goal number 559 buy your first backpack upgrade and then goal like 563 buy your second backpack upgrade. You know what? I want the Chanterelle. And four wood is not going to stop me from getting it. I missed one peach, by the way. Noted. What's my favorite fruit tree? I, I actually really like the look of peach trees. I like peaches in real life, and I like how they look in this game. I love everything about them. They're very satisfying, but honestly, there's no wrong choice when it comes to your favorite fruit tree, except apricot trees, but everyone knows that, so. Bassoon is like a deep-voiced clarinet. Oh, is it more clarinet adjacent than saxophone adjacent? I might, I might have gotten a little confused on that one. You went from 25 minutes in the past to being in the present in 40 minutes. I'm glad to have you back in the present, uh, Laisha. Welcome on in. Welcome to the world of the living. Hope you brought snacks. All right. Star drop luck, please. That's the anti-star drop. How dare you? How darest you? More of a clarinet. What am I thinking of? Isn't there? Isn't there a? A saxophone adjacent instrument that like kind of looks like a saxophone but it's not really a saxophone or am I just like making something up in my head maybe I'm just thinking of a saxophone <laughs> but I'm like nah that's not what it's called 27 hay what the heck I should probably go buy some hay because I don't want to use any of my own grass oboe oboe I thought was clarinet adjacent is it did I get oboe and bassoon conflicted Tuba? Tuba is definitely not saxophone adjacent. It is a brass instrument, but it's it looks nothing like a saxophone. Also, this music's getting a little loud for me. Bring it down just like a a, a scotch? A scoosh? A squish? I squish. I squish the volume meter. Oboe is super high. I did play the tuba, yeah, in uh in like high school band. Saxophones aren't brass, they're woodwinds. They, they're so brassy, though. They're so brassy. They're like, they're all metallic and stuff. I guess that's not what makes a brass instrument brass, though. It's like the valves. A Venova? The Venova Convention? Embouchure means a woodwind. Is that the reed? <laughs> That's all I know about woodwinds, is that they have a reed that you have to change out. Either way. I thought I figured I thought that was the wood part of woodwinds. A 
little pumpkin juice. But we do have to check luck today. Hold on. I also want to check check all this. Quick energy tonic for me. Ambashur. Spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Sorry, my big bow was in the way. I need to see the star drop for it to be real. Ooh, all right. Star drop luck. That means today we're skull caverning. Don't stop me till I'm numb. Let's bring salads. Let's bring staircases. Let's bring um pickaxe. I don't. Do we need the pickaxe? We probably don't need the pickaxe because we're not. We shouldn't be my. Well. Bring the pickaxe just to be on the safe side. Bring your pickaxe. Bring your... Da, 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 pumpkin soup. Should we bring... I'll bring two pumpkin soups to be on the safe side. I think one will be good enough. I would like my homie blade. Get some homies in chat. Deep dive time, baby. It's going to be the first time I get to bring the homie sword to do anything, too. It's probably only going to be blocking if it does anything, but it's going to it's going to be doing the thing. All right. Thanks again to Wickedy for the custom weapon by the way. Thank you. The homie is with us forever and always now. Not just in not just in rare crow form. All right, triple shot. Honestly bring a second triple shot just to be on the safe side. Have a little extra buffing food. Set us up like this. Are we good to go? Is this all we need? Then we can just use our Desert Obelisk. We don't even need a Warp Totem. OMG Taylor Swift reference. I consider myself a Swifty. I consider myself of the Swift persuasion from time to time. Any Jades to trade? It's not Sunday, so we wouldn't. Uh, we made sure to trade all our Jades ahead of time. Good thinking, though. I think we're good. I think let's go. Pop this triple shot and get me to those caves. Give me that number. All right. Desert Obelisk back here. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, Pam. Except not thank you, Pam. I'm sorry, Pam, actually, because I kind of... <laughs> I, I shorted you out of 500 gold. I would have paid you for a bus ride, but it's just the way of the world, kid. All right. Let's go in. We go down to floor 10. Hold on, I think I have to move my goal thing. One second. I think I gotta move this guy, right? So you guys can see the floor number. Yeah, there we go. Why are we going to Skull Caverns for funsies? There's potential profit to be made in these treasure rooms. Once we get to floor 9, we'll pop a pumpkin soup, and then we will be on treasure room lookout, and we're not looking for anything specific. Anything that the game happens to give us is just a blessing. We'll find a way to use it no matter what. Starting with... Starting with... Come on, game. You're, you're kind of leaving me, leaving me hanging here. Starting... Starting with... Oh my gosh, 40 damage? What did I do to deserve this? Starting... With... Starting with whatever we get in our first treasure room, which could be anything. It could be even five cactus seeds. Maybe even 15 cactus seeds. Could you imagine? Oh, how much would they sell for, you ask? Big old zero, That's but it's the sentimental value. It's the sentimental value. What do you mean embarrassing? What do you mean embarrassing? Can you elaborate on that? Is it worth smacking the crates that are right in my face? Potentially. Ooh, especially if they're not on a treasure floor. Get me some copper. Get me some white turban. I can rock the white turban for a little bit. I feel like if they give you any clothes, it's your, it's your sworn duty to wear them at least for the rest of that skull cavern attempt. I don't think we have a white turban yet either, so it's it's just part of our drip. New part of our uh, our wardrobe has officially dropped. Emotional support cactus seeds, exactly. 
is it worth hitting those? Probably. A little steel falchion, if, I, if you don't mind. Also eat a salad. I don't know if the steel falchion is necessarily worth it, but what is worth it is, is five mega bombs. You know what? Why not? Why not? And we have a farm warp totem now, so we can get home nice and quick when, when our time is up. Which, I don't know, I guess it'll be when we run out of staircases. There's, like, no reason to really stop. Unless we decide to, for whatever reason. If we, if we find something that is hitherto unthinkable, and we decide it's, that it's a good time to cash in. Until then, I'm just gonna keep going. Another cowboy hat? Dark cowboy hat? It's come home to roost? Um... Inventory's getting a little full. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out once we get to our next treasure room here. Ooh, I'll take that. Why not? Get me closer to floor 100. Wish we could deconstruct hats and get back a sweet gem berry. Oh, baby. <laughs> that would just throw the world of challenge runs on its head. At least aspects of it. If there was literally any other way to get a sweet gem berry. I wish. Five Omni Geodes, probably worth it more than four Copper Ore, I would hazard a guess. We're going to have to start making some tough calls, but that one was not particularly tough. Hoping for a Seed Maker. Seed Maker would be very nice to help expedite our Fall Seed Grind. Two Iridium Bars, let's go! We can just... I, I don't know if we keep these or if we sell them, to be honest with you, because we can sell them. We're allowed to ship them. Um, Probably going to get Yeet the Steel Falchion, if you don't mind. But we do need Iridium in the future. And Iridium is... It do be kind of rare for us still. But the money is very tempting. How much does one Iridium bar sell for again? Wait, I can check. I can check. That's within my power. 1,000? Whew. <laughs> that's some tempting money. That's just, that's just free money right there. Just falling into my lap. ship them because I can. I don't know if I want to fall into that trap. That's the eggplant trap. That's where you just ship something and laser focus on it because it's the only thing you have access to by virtue of the randomizer. I think it is a trap and I think we should try to avoid it. Another dark cowboy hat. I think I'll pass on that one. Thank you. Max I would ever need is two in my humble opinion. Well, I guess I could use three to like put one on maybe four even. One for me, one for my horse and two for my children. Think about what I'm saying. What, eggplant trap? The eggplant, yeah, the eggplant trap, because we ship eggplants. What I don't, What are you guys thinking about? What are you guys think? I don't know what an egg, what else an eggplant trap could be. 15 cherry bombs. Probably not worth it, honestly, over any of this stuff. Yeah, I'll pass on that for right now. I don't, I could get rid of the dark cowboy hat, probably. How about sea urchins, though? But I don't have any sea urchins. They're not my friends. I would like to be friends with them. If any sea urchins would like to just, you know, make themselves available to me. Hop into one of my fish tanks at home. They're, they're more than welcome to, but I'm not allowed to pick them up myself just yet. But who knows, maybe by the time the randomizer is done, enough time will have passed that um, evolution will have taken its course, sea urchins will have, been, will have grown legs, and they can walk over to me and initiate the process. Actually, never mind, sea urchin with legs sounds like a very cursed thing. <laughs> I just I just imagine like a sea urchin spreading two like large human legs and running away. And it's it's terrifying me. It sounds that sounds like something like out of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Purple porcupine. That's much cuter. That's a much cuter visual. You imagine spider legs. I don't know if that's better or worse than the human legs. Probably better. That image is so cursed. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. We, we curse. We curse the mind and the soul. But we also have fun while doing it. 
Sea Urchin Daddy Long Legs. What about, like, Sea Urchin Japanese Spider Crab? Those things are kind of freaky, right? I'm gonna pop this triple shot. Might as well get the extra, the speed boost again. There's an inventory spot, too, so I'm okay with it. Hate all of this. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't bring them up. I shouldn't bring up, you know, arachnids and all these things as much as I do because I know it does get squicky for a lot of people. It just doesn't for me. I don't know. Like, very few animals or creatures freak me out in any way. I just, like, look at them and I'm like, that's so cool. I'm, I'm flabbergasted that such a creature could exist on this planet. That, like, how, like, life is magical. How did we get here? And then there's dragonflies and I'm like, how, why are they just like hovering in the air like that? They're so dragonflies are so creepy. But I've never met anyone else who shares this opinion that dragonflies are creepy. Like I would rather have like I would rather have like a dozen little spiders crawling all over me, sorry for the mental visual, than one dragonfly landing on my shoulder. Can't do it, dude. Ooh, treasure room for the first time in a while. Little pomegranate sapling. I don't need to plant any of those, but that's actually pretty good money to just sell, I think. I always remember that from Charlie Varley's stream that she did the one time where she could, like, steal stuff from Pierre and she stole a bunch of fruit saplings and sold them. I think it's worth just, like, selling that outright. I think that's like an Iridium bar at the very least. Yeah, selling the pomegranate sap. And we can ship it too, which is even better. Any shippables are the best. Like Chloe and Haley, any shippables. Ooh, life elixirs. That's shippable. Um. What would I get rid of for three life elixirs and a partridge in a pear tree? Honestly, the farm warp totem. Don't really need it. I can I can use my own two legs and get back just fine. Throw the hat. But it's cool. Have you considered that? It's a cool hat. And uh, you might be like, you already own one of those hats? I know, but like... Then we'd have two cool hats is the thing. One for me and one for my horse. We actually are, might already have one for one for Iota. Dragonflies are magical. Yeah, they're like necromancy. They're magic you should stay far, far away from. You you can find them beautiful and cool or whatever, but it's it's not my not my cup of tea. I just don't like how they, like, float there. Like, they just stop in space, like the laws of physics don't, no longer apply to them. I get that they're flapping their wings very fast, but that's also, like, kind of suspect, you know? Red slime egg, probably worth it. Five mega bombs, you can take a hike. But hummingbirds? Yeah, but hummingbir hummingbirds have the cuteness factor. Blue cowboy hat. Do we have a blue cowboy hat yet? I might be willing. I don't think we do. We might. I don't know. Double treasure room. We have yet to see a triple treasure room on this uh, on this farm. We've had a couple doubles. Will we get our first triple? All right. Sorry, Dark Cowboy Hat. I know I was talking you up, but we got to go. Sounds like I hate hummingbirds. Hummingbirds make up for it by the fact that they're so darn cute. Dragonflies, not cute. Orange sapling. Orange, you glad this wasn't a banana sapling? No, I would actually much rather this be a banana sapling. Um, I guess orange sapling? Oh, we gotta start making the calls. Orange sapling or... Five Omni Geodes. Get them out of here. Get, get them out of here. Hummingbirds are fantastic. I have no beef with hummingbirds whatsoever. I have no... I think they're very, very cute. I don't, I don't, I can't explain to you the difference of why I don't like the way dragonflies 
defy physics, but hummingbirds are okay in that regard. I cannot explain that to you. It's just an idiosyncrasy. And if you can't accept me at my hummingbird, or if you can't accept me at my dragonfly, you don't deserve me at my hummingbird. By the way, I can't pronounce that name. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Due to the supply shortage, we'll be changing to 2024's changing 2024's Helium April Fools to Argon Matrix. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> That's a really good pun. That's very very well done. I respect it. That's amazing. How long were you in the workshop on that one? I love that. <laughs> and thank you for the generosity and support, of course. As always. Alright, we out of here. That's all our staircases used up. How do we feel? Rate my Skull Cavern dive on a scale of 1 to... 1 to 11. Why not? 1 to 11. How do we feel about that Skull Cavern dive? Good, bad, in between. Slime eggs are shippable. Very true. 6, 3, 8.9. 6.5. Right in the halfway point. 4, 6.5. Let's see, will we change our tune once we sell some stuff, though? Like, if I sell this pomegranate sapling, this orange sapling, three life elixirs, I'll sell the iridium bars, I'm not afraid. And one red slime egg. Will the ra Do you think the ratings will improve? Let me look at my hat collection now. I have two blue cowboy hats. I have I, I still have more dark cowboy hats than I gave myself credit for, though, right? Fair enough. No red cowboy hats yet, though. That's curious. You don't really think it was worth 200 staircases? But 200... 200 plus staircases got us to... Drumroll, please. I don't have a drum, I'm sorry. Trade 200 staircases for $9,000. How much is... How much are 200 jades worth? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Can I ship a bar with the challenge? Ordinarily, no, but we've already been been allowed to ship a an Iridium bar in the past. That was one of our goals. Two hundred plus jades are worth forty k, forty thousand. <laughs> it's all right. It's about the experience. It's about the experience. It's not about the money. Some people might tell you it's about the money, like like myself, maybe an hour ago. But those people are lying to you, and you should not believe them. It's it's always been about the experience. <laughs> So how do you guys feel about swapping our jades out for diamonds? <laughs> how do you feel about that and nixing Skull Cavern from the schedule? No, I don't. I, I, I still I still have faith in Skull Cavern. I still like the diversity that it brings. The diamonds, I mean, the diamonds would definitely be better. I can't argue with that necessarily. But then we miss out on Skull Caverns. Put it to a pole. I'll throw I'll throw you a pole. Why not? It's fun to have a change of pace. Exactly. That's where I'm at right now. But all right. Should we change our crystallariums? Crystallariums to diamonds and stop. What did Jay Sky say? Love the dives, just not this one. And stop skull caverns. I think that's an important part to put on there. Because if we if we swap the diamonds, then there's no more skull caverns for the rest of the schedule. <laughs> At least not until we swap back to jades. Yeah, it was you know, there's there's good there's good dives and there's bad dives. That one landed on on the stinkier end of the spectrum, but I think there's there's good times to be had there. Would it be better to just sell the jades outright most of the time? Probably. I feel like the odds of getting 
more money from Skull Cavern treasure chests than the jades are worth is slim. That said, we can get some other, like, non-monetary benefits out of Skull Caverns, such as more seed makers, more auto-grabbers and auto-petters for potential future, um, whatchamacallits. Farm buildings, barns and coops and stuff. You vote for caverns plus resets. Also, yeah, okay, we need to <laughs> we need to solve that situation. We should don't I need to go visit Marnie today. Uh that's fine. Leap right mushroom. More crystallariums for jades or diamonds. Very true. We could do a split. We could do a split. Like, what if we did, like, three... Like, three diamond crystallariums to two jade crystallariums, or vice versa, three jade, two diamonds? We could split the difference. Sleeping for diamonds is boring. It's a very, it's a very close pull. It is a very close pull. Does cutting the grass count towards a skill? It doesn't, but uh, the grass helps prevent debris. So cutting my own grass for hay is suboptimal in my opinion. And I think we should just bite the bullet, spend some hay, spend spend, spend some money on hay at Marnie's. It'll pay for itself in the end. Three diamond, two jade. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards, yeah. Don't listen to democracy. The democracy says that 56% of chatters want us to swap the diamonds. So three diamonds and two jades sounds like a reasonable compromise to me. <laughs> and then we still get a little skull caverns every now and then, but not to... Uh, but we also get the benefit of the diamonds. I think that is an acceptable compromise. Do you, do you chat? Do you, chat, agree to the terms of this of this contract? How does three diamonds, two jades sounds? Will you shake on it? Shake on it, chat? I'm extending my hand in informal contract lingo. By the way, I'm about to spend a lot of money, so look away. <laughs> cool. Shake and split. You think we should do two diamonds? Flip it and you'll shake. Uh-oh, this sounds like a scam. You get three diamonds every five days out of this. How is this How is this a scam? Well, I get the diamonds. But you also get Skull Caverns content. So... <laughs> three jades, two diamonds, and you'll shake on it. Okay, three jades, two diamonds, and the next crystallarium we get out of Skull Caverns gets to be a diamond, so that we'll have three and three. That way, we'll get more Skull Cavern runs a little bit faster with the extra jades, and then we'll be able to do exactly 50-50. You say go all in or not at all because we'll be out of sync? I'm okay being out of sync. I mean, we're getting out of bed every day anyway, so... What's the, what's the harm? We're running by those crystallariums all the time. Pieces of hay. It's now full. I need to move the crystallariums so I don't overwrite on accident. I, that doesn't sound like something I would do, though. That doesn't sound like something I would do. I, I, I trust my... Chat, do you trust me not to overwrite them? I think we're all on the same page that I'm probably not going to overwrite them. What do you mean, no? All right. Diamonds. Here's here's the trade offer. Is that Xenoblade music you hear? This is Legend of Zelda. I think it's Hateno Village. Remixed by QMU. Link to their channel in the description. All right. One diamond, two diamonds. One, two, three jades. Store these in here. 
and we're good. What am I saving this prismatic shard for? I was thinking of selling it, but honestly, prismatic shards are still rare enough. I should I should just hold on to it. Quick hydration break, by the way. Said that I have to play for 80 days to get 200 more staircases or 27 more fruit tree harvests. Which won't happen in 1.5 hours. Very fair. Very fair. But it will happen next stream. I feel okay about this crystallarium setup. I feel okay about this. Also, seed maker. All right, let's keep the let's keep this ball rolling. We can't debate on it too long here. When is our first strawberry harvest due? By the way, we planted them on the egg festival day. I need to make sure to stay out so that the Junimos can harvest all the strawberries. I think I want to say it's the twenty first. I can always change it if I don't feel it anymore. Exactly. Yeah, these crystallariums are not set in stone. They're set in... Well, I mean, they are kind of set in stone because, like, minerals are... Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Did you miss the Skull Caverns run? You did, Lunar Shadow, but... Some would say you didn't miss anything at all. Based on the quality of the Skull Cavern run, but... That's neither here nor there. 21st. We're going out on... We're, 21st is a good day anyway because it'll line up with our fruit tree harvests. They take 99 stone to craft. You think they are set in stone? That's a lot of stone. I feel like crystallariums should be bigger based on the amount of stone that you put into them. But I guess you, like, crush the stone down somehow with your bare hands, unless you have a crafting table. <laughs> as long as I hold these mushrooms, nothing can go wrong. Chat, how am I going to overwrite any of the crystallariums if I'm just holding mushrooms every time? I don't think you can duplicate mushrooms in a crystallarium. Is, is Mushroom Crystal? I don't think so. Oh no, it's a rainy day, which means the Junimos aren't going to harvest. If I was a Crystal, what would I be? Oh, that's a tough one. I would say... I'm going to go with... I'm going to go off of Stardew Valley Crystals, because they're the, they're the only Crystals that I have lodged in my brain any high degree you'd be bismuth I feel like I'd be kyanite I don't know why kyanite speaks to me on a spiritual level it's very like symmetrical which I which resonates with me well it, it goes nicely with my analytical brain the deep shade of blue is I don't know feel that feels in line with my soul. It's hard to articulate in, wor in words properly, but Kyanite speaks to me. Like, no, when, when no other gemstones got my back, Kyanite's gonna be there for me forever and always. You love opals? Opal is a good one. Mushroom isn't crystal. Write it down. It's gonna be on the test. That's final exam material right there. I don't know what cri what crystals would you guys be? If you got to pick a, you have to pick a Stardew Valley crystal though. You have to pick one Stardew Valley because I mean, isn't that why we're all here at the end of the day? All right, next non-rainy day will be our Junimo harvest day. Looking forward to it. Kyanite is such a lovely color too. It's it's one of the best colors. It might be the best color mineral in my opinion. Fire Opal. Fire Opal is a strong contender for best color as well. Lunarite. Respect it. Lunarite's a little oblong and, and, and lumpy. I kind of I kind of feel oblong and lumpy sometimes. 
Can you pick Petrified Slime? You certainly can. <laughs> you certainly can. I don't know if it's the one I would go with, but I respect your choice. I respect, I respect the, uh, I respect it. I respect any choice, honestly. Thunder Egg? Ooh, Thunder Egg is a good one. Laura Pathite. Laura Pathite is my favorite uh, name to say out of any of the crystals in Sardew Valley. It rolls off the tongue so nicely. Did I say the chicken statue is a girl a billion streams ago? I think the chicken statue, our chicken statue on this farm, the one that has the hoodie entourage, strikes me as a male, a male chicken. Maybe I said otherwise previously, but that's the vibe I get from him these days. Ghost Crystal. The lavender color of Floripathite. It's a very, it's a very nice, it's a soothing color. It looks like it's like, anytime I look at the Floripathite sprite, it looks like it's missing a piece. Is that just me? It looks like it's like broken on the bottom and it's like, where's my other Floripathite? Where's my other half? Star Shards. Ghost Crystal. Soapstone because I'm very sensitive and soft. That's okay, Paradox Whale. That's a that's a benefit. Being sensitive, being sensitive is not is not a detriment. Being sensitive just means you you care more, which I think is a sign of a good human. You love the design of Tiger's Eye. Are you Sam? Are you Sam in real life? What gender is the owl? Are the owl statues then? They can be any gender. The owl statues, they n they need not all be the same gender. In fact, it's probably better if they aren't. No, more mixed seeds. The mixed seed curse spreads ever farther. Obsidian because he loved the color and the shape of it. I can get down with that. If today was raining, we wouldn't get a second harvest. So we, we will still get a second harvest, right? We'll just get it on, like, the very last day of spring, provided it's not raining. Let's go hang out with the Junimos today. Gender fluid statues. There you go. I'm here for that. With a little debris clearing session. That's actually a good thing I can do on... On, on harvest days, I can go around clear debris. Look, these do the Junimos, they're like already almost done with the strawberries. Yeah, last day of spring. Sounds good to me. I do also want to bring the strawberries up with me to the chest, so that way I just have all my uh, all my money things in, in one location, ideally. Ooh, gold quality strawberries, too. Don't mind if I do. Wait, more strawberries? Two more strawberries. I didn't even see them over there. Junmos were still working hard. After 10 years of in-game time, we have four mushroom trees. We tech we did have five. We kind of chopped one down earlier, though. How are my animals doing, by the way? They're they're eating through a lot of... The <laughs> they've eaten through much of the grass, which explains why the silos were empty. Turns out 48 animals tend to eat a lot of grass. That's, uh... You know, you learn something new every day. I, I want to get in there, but these guys are kind of... They're... They're like, pet me! Pet me! It's okay. I can wait. I just I just want to get in. I, I'll go around the other side. That's all right. You guys you guys are doing a thing here. I'm not going to get in the way of it. Call to the Lambda Strikes again. Let's go down this way. Just have a look. Call to the Rabbit. What is this, Stardew Valley? Wait, it is, though. Wait, what is the... No, what is, I was going to say, what is this Five Nights at Freddy's? But it is Stardew Valley. 
Man, they eat so they eat so much grass. <laughs> they eat so much grass. Oh, there's still some grass down here. Wait, they're they're able to get in there a little bit. This is a little bit of grass right here. That's they that's they're saving all their all their snacks for summertime there. I respect it. A lot of animals. Seven hundred eighty-one. <laughs> it's going fast. It's going fast. It's still better to buy hay than to go invest in more grass starters, though, because the grass starters are so expensive compared to the hay. They're like double the price. So I think we just take what we can get from the grass that we currently have there, and then invest in hay when we need to. Which reminds me, I should actually have the hay in that chest as like a constant kind of reminder, I think. Food shaming the animals is so cringe. I'm not food shaming any animals. <laughs> the animals, they can eat whatever food they want. I'm just trying to hammer out the logistics over here to make sure that they go that they go fed. Other Stardew Valley challengers and speedrunners, they'll be like, I'm going to feed these animals one time so I can get the egg and stuff that I need from them, and then they can just, like, they can just, you know, be upset for the rest of all time. And I'm like, no, no, no. I need to, I need to make sure all these animals are well fed at all times. That said, I can't pet them. You animal cooties. I said they eat too too much grass. They eat too much grass for me to provide enough grass for them. That's the, that's the full sentence. You didn't let me finish. Cat shames you when you can't feed them. <laughs> that's fair. You know what? Shame, that's you know if the, if you can't feed if if I can't feed the animals, that's on me. It's not on the animals. The animals just need to eat. They're just trying to survive. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good, right? Sleepy mind. Your music system is wacky, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure it's the same music system that a lot of people use, which is just YouTube, a YouTube playlist. But, <laughs> but for some reason, it does pause sometimes. It does just, like, freeze up. And it's like, hey, are you still watching? Are you still paying attention? And I'm like, yes, I'm still here. There's probably a setting you can change to fix that, but that's a that's a future Argon problem. It's weird how it's been acting this stream specifically. Are you guys hearing something that I'm not, or am I just used to it now? Like it has paused a couple times, but that's not anything new. I want to make sure you have a smooth and clean and crispy audio experience. So anything I can do to help facilitate that, let me know. What can I do to get you into a into a crisp audio situation today? You just don't remember it stopping suddenly until this stream. I mean, ever since I switched from Spotify to this setup, it's, uh, like, Spotify doesn't doesn't stop, but, but YouTube does for whatever reason. I guess it's, like, it just wants to make sure you click every now and again. Which is just the world we live in. A world of clicks and buttons. For better and for worse. It did it yesterday, too. It's just part of the new setup. But... <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it's just part of the YouTube thing. It's it just it just does that. But I'll I'll look into it to see if I can find some way to rectify that. All right. Are we good to Oh, I didn't I didn't I almost went to bed, but I just remembered I got two iridium fruit trees. I got to take care of. YouTube likes to change things on us randomly. That's that's also very true. Although I can't say for sure that YouTube like pausing stuff on me like that is is a change. I feel like that's been there for a while and I just don't use the like playlist system enough for <laughs> for me to notice it. Either way, I'll look into it. 
Hello, by the way, Lisa. Saw your kitties for the first time in two weeks, and it seems like they don't care. They care in their own special cat way. That's the thing about cats. They're just, they're just fickle. Give them time, and they'll they'll show you how much they care. At least that's how my cat was. She was never just... She was never, like, all over me, even if I was gone for a long time. I would just, like, come home, and she'd just, like, look at me. And then I'd step... Like, I'd, I'd stand in the doorway of my bedroom. She'd be asleep on the bed. I would look at her, and she would look at me. And I looked at her, and she looked at me. And I looked at her, and she looked at me. And then she said, I'm sorry, what did you want again? No, what would actually happen is I would stand in the door, I would look at her for a minute. And then the moment I take a step into the doorway, or into the bedroom, like through the threshold of the door, she goes... Then <laughs> she just starts meowing up a storm. Like I've like I've intruded her personal space. Which I guess I have to a certain extent. The cats cats are just weird that way. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Um, sleep. I sleep. Ooh, what? <laughs> crop fairy. Wait, no, crop fairy. You're gonna throw. You're gonna ruin everything. Crop fairy. No, you're gonna throw off the sink. No. <laughs> you're gonna mess up my. You're gonna mess up the harvest day sink. It's all falling apart. Like thank you and stuff, but like, come on, dude. <laughs> Oh man, those ancient fruit were like almost all fully grown too. They would have been in perfect sync, it would have been so satisfying, but now... Now what the heck am I supposed to do? Now I have to start tracking harvest days for like these like five ancient fruits in particular. Actually, you know, maybe it's because... Well, it might, it might be more than five to be fair. But maybe, maybe because it's just a few ancient fruit, then we'll just like let it ride. And maybe they'll get caught up eventually. <laughs> like I could, like I, the like the Junimos should be able to harvest them, just on a regular day when I'm going to the mushroom cave anyway, because there's not that many. So maybe it's not the worst thing in the world, but in principle, thank, thanks, Crop Fairy. I, I don't respect you. Toggle off the huts. I don't think I could have made it down there in time to toggle the huts, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I can toggle them now and, like, let it go back and sink. But you know what? I'm just going to let it ride. I'm just going to let it ride. If the crop fairy thinks it's best, then... I mean, she knows crops better than I do. I've never farmed a day in my life. Like, look at look at me. I'm still a newcomer. What, how, can, how can I say anything about this? Get this out of here. But I need the strawberries to be harvested, too. I only have to worry about the strawberries for one more day, and then we have to start getting ready for summer. Yeah, exactly. What do I know? I'm not a farmer. What do I look like? A farmer? Definitely not. Just because I... <laughs> just because I... You know, have 48 animals at my stead, and a horse, and many silos, and a field full of crops. Doesn't make me a farmer. I'm, just, I'm the steward of a farm, but a farmer I am not. Other Dr. Seuss-isms. Are we good to sleep? I think we're good to sleep. With rain days, it'll go back back in sync eventually. It's not the end of the world, yeah. We'll make it work. One way or another. They added the cows from Stardew into real life. No way. Pixar didn't happen. Last week, my mom and I went on a, uh, like a kayaking voyage. We've been doing a little bit of kayaking this summer. And, uh, holy moly. Maybe that's not so loud. I'll turn it down, like, a little bit. I'm gonna say, you know, that's fine. That's a good volume. I'm okay with this volume. Um, 
But yeah, we went kayaking. And we went down like a big long river. And on one of the banks of the river, or like on a hill like overlooking the river at one point, there were just a bunch of cows just like standing there staring out at us. And we then they were just like they were just like chilling. It's, it's like so funny. I don't know what's so funny about seeing cows just like hanging out. They're such like comical animals though. They don't have to do anything. They just they just sit there and, and be funny. I loved it. I would have taken a picture, but I was in the middle of going through some rapids and I had I wanted to make sure it was I was impressing the cows. Cows are friend shaped? I like that. <laughs> I think that's highly true. Do I have any Dr. Seuss books memorized? Not memorized, no. I have fond memories of the... The Big Book of Sleep. That's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss stories. But other than that, I don't really have anything memorized. Alright, tomorrow is our last chance. As long as it's not raining... Strawberry Harvest. Strawberries? Strawberries! Ooh, and the gemstones line up. Love when that happens. That's a blessed day. Let's go hang out with the Junimos for a little bit, shall we? Let me check my silo real quick as well. Why not? 687. They're burning through that hay. What can I, what can I say? That hay goes quick. That said, I am sleeping, like, a lot, so it kind of makes sense, I suppose. I have a feeling this was not a harvest day. <laughs> Where are my Junimos at? They're not harvesting. Was there another harvest that I was not aware of? That I Was, was yesterday harvest day and I just missed out? I mean, we got 70 strawberries there, so maybe they were just really quick. I don't know. Or I guess yesterday I was out doing stuff anyway. Got the ancient fruit. 11 ancient fruits. Checks out. So I'll need to turn some of these ancient fruit into seeds for the future. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put them away in the chest. Have a good one there, Arabella. Thanks for hanging out. Your favorite Dr. Seuss book as a child was Go Dog Go. I don't think I know Go Dog Go. All, most of the Dr. Seuss books or stories that I know were in one big yellow book that I had for a long time as a child, and I wish I still had it, but I no longer do, unfortunately. It was lost in a move or something at some point. I kind of want to find that book again, though. If not, like, locked away in storage somewhere, on, but maybe on, like, uh, Amazon or something, I don't know. eBay, who knows? Okay. Um, summer is tomorrow. We have some things to do at the start of summer, I'm sure. Let's get business taken care of here. Your favorite was the foot book? The foot book? I have no idea. <laughs> Starfruit? Starfruit would be good. Star Starfruit would be good. We also have 15 pineapple seeds. I kind of like the idea of putting some pineapple seeds in for the summer. And then we do some starfruit seeds for the rest, probably. Pineapple seeds are nice because they'll they'll regrow, right? Takes 14 days to mature and keeps produ keeps producing fruit after that. It doesn't tell me how many days it takes, but yeah, pineapple seeds work for me. And then we would get what, um, 55 star fruit seeds. Very summer appropriate. We we got a very tropical farm going, especially in the summer. Pineapples, bananas, mangoes. Oh my! There's a mango tree down south actually, but. We might not always get to it. <laughs> yeah, seven days. So we'll, we won't get too many pineapples out of this, but pineapples are still worth it in my eyes. Plus, it's kind of just a neat novelty. Okay. What else do I need to do today? We need the star fruit seeds. We need... I guess I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to Pierre's because I'm going to be going to Sandy's for star fruit seeds. So we're, we don't really need to do a, sell, a selling day just yet.
sell Joja Cola every day? <laughs> How many Joja Cola for Golden Clock? Question mark. All right, let's go. Let's go at least start taking care of business here. Starting with fruit trees. I want to get them back in sync. It's only two, but I want to make sure they're ready for third day of summer, so it's not throwing me off, you know? Any blueberries? Blueberries could be good, too. Star. The problem with starfruit is that I'm going to have to replant. But I only have to replant, like, once, right? Because it's because summer you can only get two harvests out of it max. Because what, starfruit takes, like, 11 days to grow, something like that? So it's not so bad. Thirteen days. So like literally there's there's room for two harvests. And hopefully we don't get screwed over by the rain. <laughs> ancient fruit is a good option, covers fall too. I don't want to start ancient fruit. Like, I mean, I've, I've got Ancient Fruit in the ground, but by the, I want to, like, restart Ancient Fruit at the start of spring of next year. That way we can just have a full field of Ancient Fruit, like, for every season. I don't feel like we need to start any extras in the middle of, uh, or at the start of summer here. Maybe that's just me, though. Junimos are oot and a boot, doing their cute thing. Gathering me my ancient fruit when nobody else can. They're already all done. Like, what the heck? They're so fast. These, these Junimos are too efficient. Got me a gold star ancient fruit and everything. Missing bundle, here I come. Okay, let's plant the pineapple seeds while I'm down here. No sense not doing that. Pineapples, please. Yummy, yummy pineapples. All right. Now I need 55 starfruit seeds times two because we're going to plant two harvests of starfruit. So 110 starfruit seeds. I need to sell 324,420 Joja Colas to afford a golden clock with my current money. That seems do it. That seems reasonable to me. That's 324,420 days. That's not that long. If you combine all the different 100 days challenges that uh, people have done on YouTube for Stardew Valley, it probably adds up to around 324,420 days, if I had to guess. And I recommend all of them. Alright. Let's go get the starfruit seeds, take care of that, and then we will go from there. Did I get my mushrooms today? I don't. I feel like I didn't get my mushrooms today. My mushrooms. Will I do any winter forage farming in winter? Probably not, honestly. <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's great money, but I don't think it's great content. And we're gonna get the gold clock one way or another anyway, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and shelve that one. Unless people unless I get to winter and I see just a flood of messages in chat of people like, I really miss when he did winter forge farming. That was my favorite part of the stream, sad face emoji. Then maybe I can be swayed. But unless I, something tells me that's not gonna be the way people react. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. All right, let's go. Oh my! I always I thought my de desert obelisk was over here. Little did I know, Iota played a little trick on me and moved it in the middle of the night. Let's go. Winter forge farming is oddly soothing. I could see that. It's kind of therapeutic in a weird way. Perfect. Under two. No, 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 no. That's more like it. 110. I mean, we could do some winter forge farming. It's, I mean, it would be a good amount of money to make that way. It would definitely help boost our, our final sales at the end of the year. Our projected profit margins. 
We'll see. Once we get to winter, we'll see how we feel. that part of me when we finally do get the golden clock is going to miss the debris like don't get me wrong we're still going to have a lot of debris to deal with when we do ha get the gold clock because there's just going to be a lot left over from the many many years that we've been on this farm but like having to manage the debris it's become such a core part of like my identity on this farm I'm, i feel like i'm gonna miss it when actually when that actually does happen <laughs> i don't know Maybe I'll just build the gold clock for perfection and then, like, demolish it. Well, actually, it has to be on my farm in order for it to count, right? So I can't just demolish it. Do you think anyone's ever earnestly demolished a gold clock in Stardew Valley? Like, not by mistake or for the memes. I don't even know how you do it by mistake, but... <laughs> Think anyone's ever been like, 10 million goal? I can make that again. That's no problem. I mean, for some people, it's really not that much of a problem, but... I think the wording is gold clock on the farm. I believe you are correct, yeah. Someone actually, um... I think we're done for the day, right? Someone actually left a comment on an old Price of Perfection VOD that was an interesting idea that I'd never thought about. Um, the Perfection Tracker, it says, like, obelisks built on the farm, 0 out of 4. It doesn't specifically say that you have to, that has to be all four different obelisks. I assume that it won't count if you just build four of the same obelisk. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to test it, just, like, I'm 99% sure that will not work. But, like, what if... That would be kind of funny if you could just build like four mountain obelisks and have it count for perfection. I would cry laughing. That would that would cut the price of perfection down by quite a lot. You can build more than one obelisk? You can, yeah. You're allowed to build as many of the obelisks as you can reasonably afford, just like any other farm building, I'm pretty sure. Welcome on in, Annika, by the way. Welcome, welcome. We'll have to do it for science at some point. I'll have to just, like, go and test it. It was a really funny idea to me, though. But maybe I shouldn't be laughing. Maybe I should be pogging if it turns out to be true. A silo is kind of like an obelisk to the hay dimension. What's the what does what does the hay dimension look like? Isn't that just puro puro from old old school RuneScape? You just go there and there's a bunch of fairies tending to, or I guess implings tending to vast fields of wheat. The hay dimension. The hay dimension sounds like a great place unless you're allergic. All right, this chest is getting very full very fast. Um, <laughs> I might have to have, I might have to transplant some of this other stuff, some of this stuff to other places. Prismatic charges need to be in here. Apricot jelly, get out of here. Pomegranate wine, we're not making that. Um, put away these fruits. The tools don't necessarily need to be in here. Everything else I kind of like having here for convenience's sake and for stuff that we're just going to sell in the future, so I think that works. Put away the tools in here. Prismatic Shark can also go there. These guys, save them for when we need to, like, ship these. Why not? Good to go. Also, I can end this poll, I guess. I just realized this poll is still going. <laughs> The hay fever dimension. You always get startled by how huge the iridium fruit is. 
Is there actually a change in size to the fruit? I just always thought oranges were really big <laughs> in this game. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to seeing our, like, iridium oranges when we pop them off the tree. But do they actually get bigger as you... as they gain quality? Because that's pretty funny, honestly. I want to see big bananas. I want to see how big an iridium banana gets. Price of perfection, if you could get perfection with duped obelisks, sounds like hell. Imagine the desert trips. You would have to, like, it, w it would be hell to try and route that, for sure. You'd have to get a little creative. But you could, the money-saving potential is so, so good, <laughs> if that, if it did work that way. Which I'm, like I said, I'm 99% sure it does not work that way, but we shall see. Chad, it doesn't have to go in that direction. It doesn't have to go... I, I, I just want to see big bananas in Stardew Valley. I want to see iridium-quality bananas in Stardew Valley. Just because it's something I say on the internet, that I want to see big bananas. It, you know, you don't... <laughs> Maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop so I don't get quoted out of context. The big banana is a tourist attraction. In Australia. Haven't been there since you were a child. That's one of my favorite types of tourist attraction is, hey, we took this everyday thing and we just made a really big one. <laughs> like, there's a giant Easter egg somewhere in Alberta, I think. Like, the world's largest Easter egg. I've never seen it personally with my own two eyes, but in, in principle, I love it. Those are so good. I just love those those like little roadside attractions. They're so fun. All right. Also, I need quick reminder. All our ancient fruits are now ready. So I need to make sure every seven days that we're spending enough time outside in order to in order for the Junimos to harvest. So that should be on. Summer eighth is our next uh, is our next harvest day, right? Next harvest, pay attention to how big the fruits are. They pop off the tree compared to the ones in my greenhouse. I'm pretty sure you're right. They are bigger because I I mean the the oranges especially. I always like have a thought in the back of my head when I'm harvesting them. Like those are some big oranges. So I think you are right that they do get bigger. I've just never internalized that fact that they that they get bigger because they get better quality. Ooh. Big ol' oranges. I don't know if oranges... They're definitely among my favorite fruits. I wouldn't call them my favorite fruit. But... When you're, like, dehydrated or really thirsty after, like, a workout or something, nothing hits quite like some orange slices. Just, like, the the flavor combined with how juicy oranges tend to be, it just, it, it's, it's, it's like, I don't, I feel like there's almost no food that tastes better after, like, a, like, a long workout when you're, like, you need those fluids. As far as, like, you should just, like, drink water at that point. Water just tastes heavenly at that point. But if you're eating something, you eat oranges. Oh. Ooh. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Tastes like the sun. That's a great way to put it. Is halftime oranges a thing in sports in other countries? I think it is, but I'm not really a sports guy. So I'm not that familiar with it. But I think I've heard of halftime oranges. So I think not only are they, like, do they taste heavenly, but they're also, like, very good to have as, like, an after-workout kind of snack, because they, like, recharge you quite well. Maybe that's why they taste so good, is because they recharge you so effectively. All right. Look at those. Yeah, those are some big, big old oranges. And we can actually compare the size of the peaches, too. 
Those peaches are definitely bigger. They're definitely bigger than than your garden variety peach. That's no baby peach from from Mario Kart. That's uh that's from Super Princess Peach right there. You feel so bad for the fish in the pond, years and years, and they wait patiently for some piddly little item. <laughs> uh, my head cannon is that they're like not sad that they're not getting the item. They're just like it. It'll be nice to get to get that item eventually, but in the meantime, let's enjoy each other's company. Cause like, there's like three eels in there. Craig is at is at home with his family and friends, and the blue discuses are vibing out as well. I think uh I think it's nice, you know. I think it's nice that they're at least not alone. Like, if it was, like, one of those fish ponds where only one fish fits in the pond, and we left it for years all by itself, then I would start to get a little a little sad, for sure. But because they have each other's company, I think they're, I think they're gonna be just fine. You just saw a bear in your backyard? Oceana is... is <laughs> is everything okay? Bears in the backyard. It's a, it's a spooky thing. Don't get me wrong. Bears are usually docile if you just leave them be, but still scary to see. Cool to see, but... There's a smaller black bear. Aren't black bears, like, the most, like, like vicious of bears? Or maybe polar bears, but polar bears don't live in proximity to humans a lot of the time. Other way, black bears bears are so cute. They have no right being as cute as they are for how for how vicious they could be in the wrong situation. Bear hug. If you had to choose a bear to fight. But not, like, fight to the death, because that's sad to think about. Just, like, you know, fight until one of you taps out, even though that's not realistic. But let's play along. What bear are you fighting? What bear are you fighting in, in a cage match? What, ba what bear do you think you could take, re realistically? Koala? Is a koala? Koala is not a real bear, though. Koala is, like, a, just a marsupial. Koala bear, teddy bear, teddy bear for sure. Teddy bear, it's a it's a pack one pick one for sure. Sun bear, what is a sun bear? That sounds adorable. Yeah, teddy teddy bear number one for sure. Panda, I don't think I'm taking a panda in a fight. That's for that's for darn sure. Oh, but aren't pandas like the biggest bears? Aren't they like massive? I think based on, like, sheer weight advantage alone, there's, like, no shot. <laughs> Pandas also know kung fu. If movies have taught me anything, absolutely. Sun bears are the smallest bear. Yeah, pandas are pretty big. I know they, they tend to be, like, kind of lazy. They just sit around and eat bamboo all the time. At least that's the stereotypical image of pandas that I have in my brain. But they're also, like, so massive. Specifically Paddington. I kind of want to know... I kind of want to know what a sun bear looks like now. I feel like I don't have any frame of reference for sun bears. I've never heard of them before. For a second, I thought this was a Super Mario RPG song with the, how the song started, but then it transcends and transitions into, into a beautiful little song from a short hike. Have a good night, Epsilon Aphrodite. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Have I seen that video of a bear at the Chinese Zoo? That people are convinced is a man in a suit. <laughs> Do you think that's ever happened? That there's that they like a zoo is like played a prank by putting a man in a suit and putting him in an exhibit to trick people. Is that a thing that happens, or is that like just a cons just pure conspiracy theory 
Fodder. Sun bears have super long tongues. Are you guys just thinking about anteaters? <laughs> I can see the resemblance between anteaters and bears. They do kind of behave like anteaters. Look up sun bear on my phone. I'll do you one better. Sun, whoops, sun bear. Sun bear. It is so cute. Except the tongue is a little freaky. The tongue's kind of freaking me out. Just a little bit. Yeah, wait, what the heck? This creature is not real. That said... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Chat. Show. Once once I'm trying to get I'm trying to make sure I show it in a way that I don't show anything else. Cause like these search results, you never know what you're gonna find in them. There he is. This is a sun bear. This is the be this is the probably the most flattering picture of a sun bear you're ever gonna see. To be quite honest, he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. The way the tongues loll and all that, loll and all that, like that. <laughs> I love his nose, dude. The nose. I just want to boop the snoot. <laughs> Looks a little thirsty. He might be a little parched right there, though. Get this. Get this man some water. Chat, would would you boop the snoot? Yes or no? Would you boop the snoot? Why him nose pink? <laughs> Why aren't all noses pink? Is the real question. Pink and adorable. Also, I just realized I should bump this goal. Oops. Wait, what did I just do? Undo that. Bump this goal thingy back up a little bit to right about there. Okay. They kind of freak you out. I feel like if you look at it for too long, if you look at a sun bear for a little too long, it probably looks back into your soul. But at a glance, very cute. Very cute and respectable. I can appreciate a sun bear. Thank you for expanding my knowledge of bears today, chat. I'm glad to know that sun bears exist. Are there moon bears to to counteract? Too damp for booping. Why do I feel like if you googled moon bear, you just get a picture of like a bear in like a space helmet? And why do I want to? Just looked it up and pandas are about human sized. Is that like a fully grown panda? I always pictured them as like way bigger. I pictured pandas as the size of like a pickup truck. <laughs> I'm not joking. Desmond the moon bear. This is lore that I'm not privy to. Also, seed maker not going. What the heck? Who told you you could stop? Sarah Soda Pop, thank you for also catching that. Moon bears exist. That's all I needed to know. They look like sun bears, but fluffier. Is the moon a fluffier version of the sun? How does this make sense? I feel like, if anything, the sun is a fluffier version of the moon. White ghost bears. Have you guys ever seen a picture of an albino moose? They're kind of like... I think they're called like spirit mooses in some places. They're very... They seem very like ethereal in their presence. 
I think they're extremely uncommon, but they're very cool looking. Moon bears are so goofy. All right, we gotta. I'm sorry to derail the stream yet again. I shouldn't have brought up bears. They're one of the cutest animals of all time. And to the tune of pickle jar rag, how can you say no? Moon bear. What the heck is this guy? What is this man? What is this bear? <laughs> Dude. Oh, this is a great picture. Oh, hold on a second. Dude, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this bear. He's so happy. He's so happy and fluffy. I love him. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> I can't even. Oh my, I would absolutely hug this bear. Mickey Mouse? He does have the Mickey Mouse ears. I want him as a pet. <laughs> I probably would not go that well, but he's smiling, dude. That's such a great bear. Holy cow. I'm not in the business of saying which bears are better, but... But moon bears, man. Moon bears. <laughs> New favorite animal contender, potentially. Thank you for the bear content. My, my pleasure. BRB pivoting to bear streamer. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna stream nothing but pictures of bears 24-7. There's gotta be a market for that, right? Posting baby moon bear pictures? I I Miss Palindrome, be careful. I think the world could implode from the cuteness. You gotta be careful with baby moon bears. That sounds that sounds very <laughs> that sounds too cute for this world. Nemzy and Blaze, thank you for saying so. How am I such a chill person to listen to? I don't know, I mean I just I just talk. <laughs> I just be talking, and people like to listen sometimes. I'm I'm always grateful for it. Happy to provide. The stream discussion is just all bears. Mods are asleep, spam bears. Don't spam bears actually, but like, you know. At least for now while the stream is live. I'm here for bear pictures. The the, the internet has been inundated with too many, well I don't want to say too many, but it's been inundated with a lot of cat and dog pictures, because cats and dogs are very cute and they're the most accessible animals that we have, like, cute pictures readily available of. I think we need more bear bear pictures, though, for sure. Yeah, let's get some bear emojis in chat. You guys got the right idea. Get, get the bears out of your system. Bring the bears to bear. Not that, I mean, saying get it out of your system sounds like a negative thing, like I want the bears gone. Nothing could be further from the truth. I literally have a futon bear right here. But I just want to see more bears, to be honest with you. They're very cute. How did we get here? All right. Um, tomorrow is the luau day. I don't think we need to do anything about that. Also, large futon bear right there. I think today... What's our next Ancient Fruit Harvest Day? It would be the... 16th? 15th? 8 plus 7? 15th? Why is my brain breaking? Yeah. <laughs> I think the 15th. I think the 15th is our next Ancient Fruit Harvest. But we also have to keep an eye out for Star Fruit Harvest. And, and Pineapple Harvest. Oh gosh, maybe I shouldn't have planted three different fruits. <laughs> it's all good. We'll figure it out. Very cute. So pineapples are ready after 14 days, so that'll be on the 15th of summer for our pineapples. Star fruit is after 13 days, so it'll be ready on the 14th of summer. Wait, 
Miss Palindrome says wait and then spams three bear emojis. <laughs> you think you found one of your favorite sun bear pictures ever. I am so looking forward to after the stream when I just get to peruse bear pictures. You guys are gonna are gonna cut into my editing time because of all the bear pictures I'm gonna get to see and, I, and I'm here for it. I am so here for it. Don't stop me now. A mini obelisk would come in handy right now to check the crops. You're not wrong. <laughs> if they sold mini obelisks anywhere, then I would be... I'd be like, where do I sign up? Where do I pre-order today? Just edit a bear into the video. <laughs> Just put a random bear at the point in the video that I'm at. It's like, as I'm in the middle of explaining what's going on, it's like, by the way, here's a picture of a bear. Here's your daily picture of a bear. I honestly don't think people would be that mad. I think people would be like, oh, that's cute. I didn't know I was going to see a bear in this video, but I'm pleasantly surprised. That would be my reaction. That needs to be an app, Daily Bear Picture. That's a very easy app to program, too, I imagine. Just scrape the internet for bear pictures. You might run into copyright issues, but as long as you're not, like, monetizing it, you're probably fine. Oh, I need this. I need this purple mushroom, though. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of these two red mushrooms for one purple mushroom. I don't know if the money equates exactly, but... Purple mushrooms are too satisfying to just leave behind like that. And I didn't want to have to make another run back. I'm gonna be buried in editing. <laughs> we got a bear video from Oceana as well, who has one in their backyard. Too many bears. But too many bears is technically not enough bears because bears are too cute. <laughs> Do you think bears are cuter in or out of the water? Like, if you see, like, a bear swimming and it's, like, its little face is just poking up over the surface as, as it swims along, I think that's, like, peak bear cuteness in certain contexts. Um, I think we're good, right? Sleep. Do love a swim bear. Not to be confused with water bears, those are different. Those are tardigrades, which I still respect. I think tardigrades fit the echelon of bear cuteness very nicely. Even though they're they're only bear shaped, they're not bear related. Is there a time frame for how long the gold clock will take now that the greenhouse is full of trees? It's a great question, Lisa, and I think we can start to get an estimate for it once we sell all our stuff today. I think we'll do a little bit more, like, to towards the end of the stream, I think we'll sell what we've acquired and see where we're at money-wise, see how much money we make from it. No one do the math on it, because you could just, like, look in the chest and start doing the math, but no one do that. Let's all be surprised together and just see how much money we make. Moss pigs? I've never heard of moss pigs in my life, but I like the mental mental, in mental image that it conjures. You gotta go. Have a good one, Pada, if you're headed out. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, tomorrow... Is tomorrow Starfruit Day? It's sunny, which at least means there's the potential for it to be Starfruit Day. Final regular quality pumpkin. Time to move on to the silver qualities. Tardigrades are moss pigs. It's just another name for tardigrades. I'm I'm all for that. All right, where are my battery packs? I think they're yeah, 42 battery packs. How much do battery packs sell for? Because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to need 42 battery packs. And also, can I sell them to anybody? Because I can't ship them. They're part of the shipping collection, I'm pretty sure. Also, my music. 
Video pause, continue watching. Yes, of course. 500 each. That's pretty solid. But can I sell them directly to anybody? Like, the first place my mind goes to, it would, it would be either Clint or Robin that you sell it to, right? They're the only ones that make sense in my brain. I don't think you'd sell it to Pierre. Definitely not to Marnie or Willie. Robin, probably. Robin sounds correct, yeah. Alright, I think I left my starfruit seeds, my other ones, right here. Perfect. Look, they're already done with the starfruits. These Junimos are getting more efficient by the day, I swear. Pineapples are also almost ready. I think our first pineapple harvest is tomorrow. Don't let me harsh your vibe, little Junimo friends. These little pink lady apples just dancing all over my fields. I respect it. What was the question? Got me. I don't remember anymore. Alright, one right there. I'm missing one more spot right there. Perfect, thank you. Off we go. Robin confirmed. Thank you. Appreciate that, Justin. We might we might do that at some point. I'll hold on to the battery packs for right now, but if we get very close to the gold clock, then we might uh, pull out all the stops and see just how much money we can scrounge from selling rain and things like that in our chests. Okay. I think we're good to go for today. Tomorrow's another harvest day, though. Talking about cuteness, those Junimos are very cute. Absolutely. 10 out of 10 cuteness would... would boop the Junimo. If they would allow it. Where do you know this song from? This is from the Celeste soundtrack. So if you know it from anywhere, it's probably from there, but it might have also been used in a YouTube video at some point as just background music. Does anybody else notice that there's a... There's, like, a specific time frame of video game music that so many people use as, like, background music for, like, their gaming videos, or not even just gaming videos exclusively, but that's the main ones that I end up seeing. There is... It's the era of the GameCube. Like, I hear so many, like, Wind Waker, Super Mario Sunshine songs in the backgrounds of... Of like a lot of videos like is it like what was, what was it about the gamecube dude what, what was it about the gamecube i mean it was a great system don't get me wrong i still i still have my gamecube and i still love it to pieces but as far as like music goes what makes it so much better Ooh. if someone's not feeling good discord is definitely gonna help I'm all about that. I assume because of the bear pictures. <laughs> Just the, the sheer cuteness overload. I'm missing one banana. There it is. It was just hanging by the door waiting for me to leave. The antsy banana. Nintendo soundtracks are just great. That's honestly pretty true. Today is Monday. Monday, Marnie is not in, because we're actually running low on hay already again. So we might have to go buy Marnie's at some point. I do have a little bit extra hay here, but I don't want to get all the way to zero before I refill. There we go. And by now, I assume that our... Whatchamacallits, our Junimos have harvested the pineapples. August 1st is now bear day. Oh, it is August, too. You know, I didn't even internalize that. Happy August, everybody. Happy August. That's all 15 pineapples right there. Perfect.
I do generally like August as a month. But let me tell you, I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking, like, you know, if I started losing my memory of of the months of the year, specifically randomly, I think the first month that I would lose, like, that I would, like, forget exists. Because, like, if you ask me to name every month of the year, no problem. But I think the first one I am liable to forget is August. I feel like August is just not that memorable. I don't have, like, anything that really goes on in August. Is there anything else we're doing today? I don't think so, right? We got a harvest of... I think we have a harvest of ancient fruit coming up tomorrow. So we'll, we'll head out for that. It's the lack of holidays. Your birthday is in August? No offense to the, to the August birthday havers at all. You don't have any control over that, obviously. I mean, and, and you know, it, it makes August special for you, and I'm honestly jealous of that fact. But, like, you think about it, like, like when I think about it, every other month has something that stands out about it, and August just doesn't have that for me. Like, January, New Year's. February, Valentine's Day. March, St. Patrick's Day. April, Easter. May has, like, May long weekend, Victoria Day, and, like, all that long weekend kind of stuff. June... Wait, does June have anything? What does June have? For some June stands out in my brain, but I can't think of what the June like what the archetypal June holiday is. June is Pride Month, if nothing else, so there's that. July. Um July is Canada Day. September. September doesn't have a specific holiday, but I always associate it with like the start of school. So that's, that's like, where my brain goes with that. It's like, all right, it's school season again, so here we go. October, Halloween. November has a Remembrance Day. And I also have, like, quite a few people I know that have d birthdays in November. And then December, obviously, is, like, packed full of holidays. Juneteenth, the solstice. August is Europe shut is Europe shuts down month. Hold on, I should I should sleep. I should actually get back to the game. I'm just trying to check out uh <laughs> check things out. Or trying to track the months of the year. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep track of things. We started school in August, so you remember it for that. Yeah, no, I always started school in September, personally. That's just my own personal experience, but... If you started school in August, then that probably does it for you, I would imagine, yeah. Labor Day is in September. That's probably true, but Labor Day, like... I don't, I don't think of it as a holiday a lot of the time. I don't, like, what's Labor Day celebrating? Wait, is today, is our, did we get an ancient fruit harvest in here somewhere? We did, okay. Ancient fruit, star fruit. Star fruit, ancient fruit. I'm full. I'm full of fruit. We got star fruit there as well. We actually have some hay here as well. I could bring that up some point here. You know, get rid of the chanterelle for right now. Get rid of the get rid of the chanterelle. And bring the hay with me. Trees? I think you're thinking of Arbor Day. Jewish high holidays are usually in September. Lunar calendar, though. That's fair. There's probably a lot of, like, cultural holidays that I'm totally just missing out on because I, I didn't grow up in the culture. So it uh, doesn't come to mind, obviously. But, I, I mean, every day of the year has something going on. Like, if you just, like, start searching every, each day of the year one by one on Wikipedia, there's bound to be probably multiple holidays on every day of the year. If I had to hazard a guess, you know. Labor Day is for the workers. Do you get Labor Day off then? Because I don't. <laughs> Maybe it's just the, the job that I'm in. I work in like retail and stuff, but I don't think I ever get Labor Day off.
All right, I think we're good to go for the day. See how much more, see how many more days we can get in here before we have to do a selling day. What's my day job? I work at a uh, at a liquor store. Basically, just work in retail there. I enjoy it, not because I enjoy alcohol. Because I I really don't. I don't drink at all. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of a weird fit there. But I enjoy the people that I work with. Labor Day is to stop people from celebrating actual radical labor movements. Okay. I think that makes sense then. Labor Day is this... In America, there's usually expectations that you get Labor Day off, even if not everyone does. I guess not everyone can get Labor Day off. Like, if everyone got the same day off, like, at the same time... That would be a very hectic day. Like, like if you got like, like all the, like all the grocery stores closed down, all that stuff. Like, the, you, you gotta have like the, the uh, required things still open, basically. Like the basic human needs, you know. Is there anything else? Like, I'm throwing myself off thinking about like all the different harvests I've got to keep track of. I think we're good today, though. I think we just go to bed. You were Christmas Day when you were in retail? Most places, even like retail places, like grocery stores and things, are closed on Christmas Day in my experience, so there's at least that. But there there are a, there are a decent number of places that don't close on Christmas Day, which is kind of baffling to me. Like, if you're not like a hospital or some, or like a place that's, you know, that people need to survive on a day-by-day -day basis, then... I think, you know, like, one day a year taking off, I, th I think is reasonable. <laughs> Maybe I'm the crazy one. Hello, my tree? We've got so much fruit. I haven't even been paying attention to how many fruit we've gotten since since starting this greenhouse grind. Like I just I just put it in the chest and don't think about it. Set it and forget it. My mentality. What are we at? 450 peaches, 450 pomegranates, 422 bananas. Oh baby. We're gonna be making a lot of money today. We're making a lot of money. Holy moly. <laughs> Not iridium quality. We'll get higher quality ones as the years go on. But even just base quality, I feel like we're, we're going to be rolling in it. Again, don't do the math. Don't do the math yet. Let's all be surprised together. Big fruit profits. Can you get? Can we get fruit, em fruit emojis in chat? Put your favorite fruit emoji in chat for me. We get a nice tropical selection. Sell, sell, sell. I think I want to do one more harvest day. We'll go to like the 21st and then we'll we'll sell after that, I think, because we're nearing the end of the stream here, so we might as well get one good selling day in. We got some watermelons, we got some bananas, we got some kiwis. Kiwi is a fruit I don't think about very often, but I do enjoy. little pineapple. I respect that. There's sort of whole, a whole smorgasbord of fruit from Hollis. He just went and picked some off of every tree. Selling animal products too. We'll sell as much as we can, yeah. Like, why not at that point? Like, if we're doing a selling day, let's, let's do a selling day. Let's go all out. All the fruit, heck yeah. Does all fruit grow on trees? Or like, at least the vast majority of fruit? Like, I feel like most fruit grows on trees, right? 
which makes sense. I mean, hence the fruit tree grind that we're doing right now. There are definitely some fruits that don't grow on trees, like I like watermelon, obviously. I don't think that watermelon trees are a thing. Strawberry bushes. Oh yeah, bushes. Bushes as well are also a popular fruit destination. Vines for grapes. Yeah, most berries don't. You're right, you're right about that. A lot of stone fruit. Stone fruit grows on, uh, on trees. What about pineapples? In real in real life, do, what do pineapples grow on? Do they just grow on like a pineapple plant? Is it is it a bush? Is it what is it called? <laughs> Cuz I think I've seen like what pineapples grow on. I think it's basically a similar looking thing to what you see in Stardew, but but I don't know if it has a specific terminology to it. Pineapples are bushes. That's probably the closest approximation I can think of would be like a pineapple bush, yeah. Just kind of bushy plant-like, just really big bushes. You love this song? This is Beach Buds from A Short Hike. I really like this song too. I've never played the game, but this makes me want to play the game. Don't worry, I see those bananas in the corner. They will not escape me. Told you. The magnetism is too strong. Beatrix got that magnetic personality going on. Okay, is that... We're, miss we're missing one banana. Missing a banana right there. Easy. Strawberries are just small plants, not much in the actual actual bush department. I guess I've never seen a strawberry bush, so I don't have a frame of reference for it, really. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and then tomorrow... We're making some money. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. It's not it's not Wednesday tomorrow. That would kind of throw a wrench into things here. But tomorrow it's gonna be a big selling day. Are you guys ready to see how much money we've made? I am I am very, very interested to see this. This will give us an idea of how long we're gonna expect the gold clock to take if we continue in this path. I am super interested. Money, money, money. Money. Alright. So, let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and deposit, just deposit the stuff, deposit my inventory of stuff right now, somewhere, <laughs> if I have room, I just, I just ideally want it all in like one chest, alright, perfect, this works, put it all away, the fall seeds, let's take all the things that we can just ship, let's just take all the things that we can ship directly, because there's not going to be many, we can ship the diamonds, we can ship the energy tonic, can't ship basically any of the rest of this, I don't think. None of this is shippable. Wait, red mushrooms are shippable because we've shipped them in the past. That was one of our tasks. Nothing else here is shippable. So we're going to have to make, make a few runs. <laughs> Alright. Get shipped, get shipped. All you get shipped... A battery pack. You know what? Sure, why not? Throw it in there. Wait, no, I can't do that. <laughs> battery pack's part of the shipping collection. Almost messed it up. Almost ruined the entire challenge. Would have had to restart. Ten years down the drain. Could you imagine? Are we going to keg the star fruit? I kind of... Like, we probably should... But I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I kind of just want to sell it. I kind of just want to sell it all. 
there's the old file in case of disaster. Very true. I'd rather not have to resort, resort to that, but there is a, a way to step back in time one day. Uh, oh, we ship that. This is just part of my inventory. Starfruit would be worth it. Worth it to sell or worth it to keg? What am I kegging? Right now, we're still kegging pumpkins. <laughs> we're just going through the pumpkins, but uh, we're almost out of pumpkins. We should probably keg ancient fruit. But I kind of want to just sell the ancient fruit, too. I just, I just want to make money, dude. I just want to make money today. Worth it to keg. I think we can save the star fruit to keg because there's not that many. We got to keep ancient fruit for seeds. That's true. We're gonna have. We're gonna have to get some. Like I, I can sell. I can sell like half of the ancient fruit though, right? Think long term. But I'm so tempted. <laughs> All right. Let's just. Let's just. No, let's take the stuff that we know we're not going to keg or anything or do anything with. What are we selling? Pickled pumpkin, pumpkin juice, cauliflowers. I'm just taking the big stacks right now. These like loan items I can make maybe make a round trip for. Um, the gold, the quality ones I can probably just sell, but I'm going to hold off for right now. Bananas, peaches, and pomegranates. Let's just take all of those. Strawberries, I'm not going to do. All these mushrooms. Pineapples. The iridium quality fruit. We can probably come back for. Let's let's take the iridium quality pomegranates, just add it to the collection here. We'll start with this. Could sell the pumpkins and just process the star fruit. That's also true. We could just pivot right into star fruit right now. It might be, but but I've been I've been processing pumpkins for so long. <laughs> Alright, let's run it into town. At one wine a week, I don't think I need to keep that many of what I want to process. That's true. That I'm not even thinking about how long it takes for like one star fruit to become one wine. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it depends how long we're going to be doing this. It might be better to sell the stuff raw. It might be better to process some stuff. We'll find a good compromise at a certain point. Could someone bring me a copper bar? I love them, Sebastian. False. That's don't don't actually give Sebastian copper bars unless he asks for them. He's trying to mislead you when he says I love them. Sebastian does, doesn't love anything. Except for frozen tears and void eggs. Maybe a little sashimi on the side, and you, if you choose to, to marry him. Sugar Prince, you are back just in time for selling day. This is going to be a big start to selling day. We're starting with all the fruit we have accumulated so far. Are you ready? 1.845 million. What are we going to here? I'm so I'm nervous, dude. This is going to be so satisfying, though. Here we go. Pierre, I hope you've got, I hope you got a lot of a lot of a lot of liquid assets right now. Point one three million, baby. That was almost what three hundred thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand ish. And we're only getting started. We're only getting started. Three hundred k. Officially over the two million mark for the first time in forever. Three hundred k is a fantastic start. What else are we? What else are we selling here? What else are we selling? Iridium quality fruits, iridium cherries. Just just take all the iridium stuff out of here. Let's just get all these like ancillary, like high quality things and sell them. This won't be a huge like money run, but honestly, we'll leave the ancient fruits, take that instead. Because we might be able to process some ancient fruit. We sell in the cherry wine. The cherry wine, I will not sell. The The cherries themselves, I'm willing to sell them at this point, just to make a, a little bit of extra money here.
think we're getting to 2.5 mil today. I'm curious to see after the animal produce we sell what we get up to. Because that's going to be a huge amount of amount of money. Or at least a comparable amount of money, I hope. Nothing crazy out of that one. That was another, like, what, 30k-ish? Another 30k, I want to say. Time to buy the Return Scepter. If it wasn't a randomizer goal, I absolutely would. But, <laughs> no, nah, I probably wouldn't, actually. But at least the thought is there. Chateau Beatrix 23 is precious. Absolutely true. It's been aged for, like, 10 years, some of it, at this point now. Nine years, maybe. All right. The rest of this, I'm just going to leave that for right now. We'll, I can I can sell it if need be, but let's just leave it for the time being. Let's pivot to animal produce. Uh, I'll, I'll be back for those eventually. I don't have my scythe on me right now, so it's a little obnoxious to do that. All right, we got to be careful. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wait. I, I might still be able to get in that door. Actually, are there, did there any? Are there any stones that got dropped in here? There's just one random piece of wood. Of all the places for a single piece of debris to spawn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This it's my my fields are becoming cursed with debris. It's okay. It's okay. Let me go get my axe. Bomb. Bomb wouldn't... I mean, it would still give us the mining XP for the stone. At least it's wooden, not a rock. At least the wood is the one that's in front of the door. I'm with you on that. There is a stone in there, though. Yeah, we can chop sticks. That's not a problem. I can't use chop sticks in real life, but I can chop sticks in this game. Alright, don't pet anybody by accident. All right. Actually, you know what? I want to go eggs first. Also, the hay. <laughs> hay situation looking a little dire here, I'm starting to realize. Okay. Um, Put that away. Put the axe away in here for right now, just so we can carry as much as possible. Gold star, gold star. I don't have that many gold star duck eggs just yet. Um, I'll take the silver stars as well. And maybe some gold quality or iridium quality duck feathers. Yeah, I just don't want to forget that my, my axe is in there. Okay, pivot into here. What do you got? We got a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Alright, let's add to our piles that we already have. Uh, that's not a pile we have, but I can take it anyway. Um, iridium duck feathers, iridium duck eggs, iridium void eggs, silver star, iridium wool, the dinosaur eggs we can ship, so I'm not concerned about that for right now. Um, what else is good here? Honestly, iridium rabbit's feet, I'm going to sell some of them. They are clear in that grass. I mean, we are sleeping a heck of a lot, so I can't be that surprised about it, but they have, they have chewed through the grass. Quite literally. Alright, let's go sell. Can't buy any extra hay today either, because Marnie is not open on Mondays, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to wait until Wednesday at the earliest to buy more hay. That's okay. The animals, they'll they'll be all right. They'll be all right. Can't befriend anyone if I don't get to the next goal. After all, very true. It's a good incentive to sell these feet. All right, two point one five, two point one five four million, going up to two point three million. So that was another 150k. We made roughly what? Like $480,000 today so far. We still have the milk to go as well.
Let's get it. Let's get that moolah. All right. Also a stone here I didn't even realize, but that's... It's fine. <laughs> There's, I was hoping there wouldn't be any debris that spread into into this place. I hope I, I had planned that okay, but it's it's whatever. <laughs> All right, iridium, iridium quality stuff, gold star, silver star. You know, silver star. Why not? Gold star wool. Sure, that works. We have thirty hay somewhere. Uh, we might have some in our chests. That's the only place I could think that it would be. Do, 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 do. Take you, why not? Um, I mean, we got extra space to bring some stuff here. Might as well bring, bring whatever we can. Let me go grab... Actually, I'm going to grab the dinosaur eggs out of here. Uh, Actually, yeah, you know what? Ship these... Ship these. Leave that one. That's fine. Okay, that's that's a good inventory right there. That's fine. Take it. Take it and run it. Why not sort the auto grabbers? I thought the auto grabbers were sorted. <laughs> I thought they auto sorted, but maybe I'm a fool. All right, please. I need. Oh my gosh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I need to sell this stuff to Pierre, please. I love you and everything. I love your cute little cow face, but like, I can't risk petting you. All right, we're going down. We're going down to the other side. There, the cult, cult of the lamb that strikes again. Okay. All right, saved. Run, run, run. Run, Beatrix, run. We gotta get to Pierre before five. We should be okay. Especially with Iota's help here. Also mangoes. You're not wrong. Mangoes are down there. Should have just grabbed them while I was down there. Well, I guess I can't because my inventory is full. Alright, dinosaur eggs can just get sold like so. Which is why I didn't get more of the gold quality wool out of there. I'll, I'll take my licks on that one, that's fair. Alright. 230... or 2.3 million going up to... 2.65 million. That was another 350,000 right there. Pretty solid, if I do say so myself. That's the, that's the big money right there. The milk is our big money maker. We milk we milk those cows. Well, we don't milk the cows, but the cows get milked. They're money machines, dude. We're over a quarter of the way to the gold clock. So that was another three hundred fifty thousand. So that's what like five hundred. Wait, eight hundred thirty thousand. Do we? Am I doing the math right? We've made eight hundred thirty thousand ish dollars today. Sorry, dollars. Almost a full mill. And we haven't even seen what we get from the, uh... It probably won't be that much more, but we should get a little bit more just from the stuff that we shipped, right? Sid, welcome on in. You are a little late. We're just we're just starting to wrap up now, but... Happy to have you here, nevertheless. I'm down here. Why not? Three little mangoes. All right, I want to see as well if I have any ancillary hay lying around. Ancillary hay, also a great name for a band. Also, I should check the Junimo huts while I'm down here. I think there might be some extra, like, ancient fruit and stuff to be picked up right now. Pineapples and ancient fruit, we'll take it. Nothing else really that interesting there. Okay. Alright. Pretty good day of selling, all things considered. So in about half of a year, 
Well, I'll, I'll do, we'll do the final tabulation once we see the shipping collection and stuff. There's a little bit of debris to clear out here. I might as well clear it while I see it. I'm on a, I'm on a sea debris diet. I see debris, I clear it. Okay. Uh, throw the pineapples in there, ancient fruit, mango. We'll ship this dino egg. We'll ship a few more of these, one more fall seed. Can't hurt this an extra, like, 50 gold or something like that. Grab all my stuff out again. Alright, you're getting shipped, you're getting shipped. The rest of these are getting processed still. Alright. Add a couple more to the collection there. I believe... We are good to go. So, we're currently at $830,000 roughly made. Let's add our shipping collection to that now, or whatever we shipped here. I don't remember how much we've shipped. I don't expect this to be that huge, but hopefully a decent chunk. Take an extra 30000 So, roughly $860,000 from our selling escapades in the first two months-ish. You're just hoping that dino egg isn't a mistake? Dino egg is not part of the shipping collection, I can guarantee it. <laughs> there we go. Almost $900,000 off the back of two months, basically. Two seasons worth of, uh, of produce. And we'll probably start making more. If anything, we're going to be making more money over time. So let's round this up. Let's say we made a... Let's say we make roughly a million every two seasons that equates to it's not gonna it's not gonna be consistent for every season mind you and we still have the ancient fruit and stuff that we haven't sold so we can definitely bump it up a little bit but let's say we made you know five hundred thousand per season that means it should take 20 it would take 20 seasons to make 10 million we need to. We need another fourteen seasons ish for fifteen seasons. What's the idea behind not selling the lower quality stuff? People were telling me to process it, <laughs> or at least I had it in my in my head to process it. The ancient fruit will probably sell two hundred sixty two ancient fruit. I mean, I got to make some of it into seeds, which is honestly why I didn't sell most of those. But uh, this stuff here. I want to process the the star fruit. I want to process into into wine and stuff. I think Miz Miz means the milk. I guess I could sell some of the some of the lower quality milk as well. I don't know why. It's just, I mean, I just prioritize what the higher quality stuff is because I have limited inventory space. But we could definitely sell some of it. We could make we could make some extra bank from that for sure. Just keep one of each in your house. <laughs> eventually, eventually I'll internalize that. Either way, thank you all. I think this is going to be the end of it. Yeah, we're, we're a little over time, actually, but that's okay. We made a lot of money, so I can't be too mad about it. Thank you all for joining me on this money-making escapade today. I will be back on Friday for more randomizer shenanigans. We'll keep on making money. We'll get ever closer to the gold clock. I don't think we're going to quite make it to the gold clock like I was anticipating we might at the start of the week. I guess I had my pie-in-the-sky aspirations, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. We will, we will, we're, we're making progress. We're making steady and constant strides, and that's all I can really ask. So, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Be good to one another, be good to yourselves. And I will leave you with the usual fan art compilation and all that. I hope to see you on Friday. Until then, have, have a pumpkin on me. This is Argon Matrix, signing on out. Thank you and have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.